Hello and welcome to episode one of Deco Dice, the Diesel Punk podcast. I am Alex, the DM. Would you like to introduce yourselves, players? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've stepped in it now. I, I, yeah. I'm top. I'm one of the players. <laughs> I'm James, long-term friend and practical neighbour of Alex. Mm. And I'm Justin, resident, very, very strange-haired person. <laughs> and and the other player Dom has has uh, other duties elsewhere and will join us later. All right. So, where do we begin? We'll start with Ula. You're floating on the open water. Your eyes are closed. You can feel the water uh, uh, around you. It's, it's dark. It's night time. If you opened your eyes you'd see the stars and the moon shining in a cloudless sky above you. But there's no wind. Uh, it's just the cool air and the sea mist against your skin. But the sea is calm. There are no waves. There's no choppiness. There's no swell. Almost no current. There's no life around you. You, you can sense no life in the sea at all. No birds. Nothing. Any thoughts? Um, am I facing up? Yes. I'll try and backstroke a little bit. Okay. See how far that takes me. Yeah, you sort of move, but there's no land anywhere you look. You're sort of in a endless sea, for all intents and purposes. I will flip over and look down and see if there's anything beneath. Okay. No, it's just darkness in the depths below. And then suddenly... The air around you is filled by a sound, and that sound says a word, and that word is Oola. Oh. And then suddenly, as if something has gripped you, you are pulled into the depths okay. quickly, straight down. Um, your ears pop as the pressure changes, um, as something sort of from your from your stomach's pulling you down and then almost as suddenly as you started you stop and you're just suspended in effectively dark water uh, you can breathe as you as you can anyway but there's there's nothing around you particularly um you know there's nothing no creatures around you or anything i'm going to look down and see if there's a, a sea floor not that you can see you're just suspended in darkness, effectively. And then the voice comes out again. Hula. That is me. Hmm. Explore. Well, that's no less vague than last time. <laughs> But Dis I am working on it. Discover. Yes, okay, so that's just another synonym. <laughs> Show. Show, sure, okay, that one's new. Um, uh, I sort of uh, put my hands out and I try and, um, I sort of shape the water and move myself around without swimming by like okay. directing a current. Okay. Um, as you move, you can sort of sense there's something in the water before you. Not close, but sort of within the, uh, a few hundred feet. Uh, something, you can feel the currents of something moving, the movement in the water. I, I direct my current to move myself towards the presence. Okay. Find. Oh, yeah. Okay. One word again. <sighs> I'm trying. I mean, you could. Yeah. You, I mean, you can talk. Can you, I, you feel can like I, you, can, you can talk in the water. I can talk. That's I'm fine. mostly talking to myself. I don't know no, if I fine. should talk to this other thing. Can I? Can I make some sort of check to, to, uh, yes. to gauge the nature of the space I'm in? What kind of check would you like? What are you thinking? Um, 
I mean, do you want to make a nature check to see whether I'll, you are actually in water or? I'll, I'll go nature, yeah. Okay. See, see how this goes. Oh, that's a six total. Wow. Well, it seems like it's water. Uh, it right. feels like water. You've, you can, you, you being a triton, you understand that, you know, sort of the, the pressures and the depths and things, and for all intents and purposes, you are in the water. But you're not. To myself, but it sort of, feels like water. Seems like water. For all intents and purposes, it feels like water. I I look around and I say out to the the endless void of ocean. I am still looking. I know I took a little bit of a break just now, but I I am still looking. I'm about to get somewhere new, so. Good. Maybe. Okay, still on the one words. Okay. Find the child. Right. Return. Okay. Huh. I will attempt to like shoot myself back up to the surface or a surface with yeah. my like current shifting. Um You don't see you see you move, but you don't feel like you've got any closer to any kind of surface it's like you're mm. stuck in a in a space oh boy I will aid you I mean that's probably for the best I'm not very good child hmm you have benefited from my power Yes. Yeah, that much that much I did clock. <laughs> child. Child is good. Child is specific. I can I can work with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna like pinch myself. Yeah. I don't feel right about where I'm at. Okay. Do not fear. I am friend. As the boy says that, before you is lit up as a giant eye that seems to be 50 foot um, surround, you know, all you can see is this eye. It's a sort of a, a yellowish green with a slit, slit eye with uh, three dots, sort of mini pupils within the eye, uh, either side of the slit. Help me find the child. And then with that, you suddenly are awake and wet ah. as cold ah. water hits your face. Oh. Make a perception roll for me, please. Just to see perception. how awake you are. Perception. Okay. Yeah. Not super. Uh, 20 total. Oh, that's not bad. Well, uh, as you're sort of coming around, you you know, sort of your eyes are a bit blurry, having just had a, a load of cold water thrown in your face mm. but you can feel that you're rocking slightly i put my hand on whatever surface i'm on to it, it's, gauge. it's it's a wooden surface oh god who picked me up beside you stood above you is a a, a little man a elderly gentleman it's probably sort of late 60s uh, who's steering who looks like he's steering um and he, and he uh, uh, with a 20 you can just see that he's putting a a, a cup back down and he's looking down and goes, oh, you're awake then. Yes. Um, sorry? Oh, you don't need to be sorry. Um, no, uh, we, we, we picked you up a couple of hours ago. Um, you were uh, drifting out of the, uh, the mouth of the Leviathan. Uh, the Leviathan is the name of the river that runs north of the country that splits the right. two. Right. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I did a, have a lot to drink um yeah i figured as much yes. i mean I, I i was all for lead uh, for leaving you there i thought you were dead you were face down um but mm. uh old kenny there and he points to the back of the boat uh where you see a uh fur bog, um sort of gathering some nets and he sort of dot, he sort of tips his hat to you uh, he, he, he uh he spotted you and uh said uh 
said we should bring you in, but... Uh... Probably for the best. Open ocean isn't as safe as it used to be. No, no. No, so... Uh, so you say you were partying, were you? Yeah, just... On, on the way elsewhere. Uh, where, where, where is elsewhere? Where are you heading? Oh, uh, we're, I, we're... I, I was heading somewhere, and I, I don't know if I'm still heading there now. No, uh, well, we're, we're heading back to uh, uh, Port Squen. Uh, oh, that is fortuitous. Oh, is that where you're going? It was where I was heading, yes. Oh. Um, well, well, it'll, it'll be another few hours before we get there. I mean, oh, old Bess isn't, isn't as quick as she once was, and sort of taps <laughs> the side of the, the ship. Wonderful. Um, and, I and might you, you take can, a nap. Uh, feel free. There's uh, there's plenty of benches. I'm sh I'm sorry we don't have much of a cabin. I mean. Uh, oh, don't worry. I I'm used to it. And and then as you sit down, Kenny sort of pulls out from sort of under a, a bench, a sort of a, a sort of a, a a blanket. You know, one of those. It's a bit of one that, one of those rough ones that sort of. Uh, it's a little bit itchy. Fine by me. I dampen it so it's more comfortable. Yes, nice. But, uh, yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's it's dawn. The, the the sun is sort of just peeking over the uh, the western horizon. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll uh, you you take a nap and uh, I'll let you know when we're coming into port. Thank you and uh, thank you, Kenny, for not leaving me in the ocean. He just gives you a thumbs up. Real. I nap. Well. Okay, you nap. Mm -hmm. Then we will move along to Idril. How how is your day starting in your hotel? What, what's your morning routine when you wake up? Well, I imagine that the first thing I do is that I start getting on things in the kitchen that uh, that take a little bit longer to cook. Nice slow cooking stews and stuff. Get that all start started. Mm -hmm. to, to, when some customers come in, when the okay. train starts to come in, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, so, so would the door be unlocked? The front door unlocked yet, or? Um, I would say that on my way down, I'd unlock the door. Okay. Okay. Um, and I assume in your hotel, you uh, you have some sort of uh, front desk or something. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so while you're in the kitchen, um, you, you hear the door open, and then um, a little ding. On, your, on, on the front desk. I head out. Okay. Uh, what meets you is stood uh, by your desk, um, just lifting his hand slowly from um, the, the bell is a, a thin man. He's probably late 30s, early 40s, somewhere around there. Um, a very, very clean shaven, very, a little bit gaunt. His hair very slicked. There's some black leather gloves. On, and it's sort of a black tailored uh, pinstripe suit uh, with a, lo uh, a long black coat over his shoulders. You know, uh, not he hasn't got his arms through; it's just draped over his shoulders. And a bright green rose on his lapel. He just st stands there, um, sort of rubbing his hands. Um, and you notice he has a very long hook nose. Um, ah, so uh, are you the proprietor? Yes, I am. <laughs> ah, good. A uh, 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 Mr. Idril. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the surname. Idril is fine, just plain, simple Idril. Ah, good. Oh, I see, I see. Um, and behind him, um, sort of towards the door, uh, they're not, they're sort of covering the door, so to speak, is uh, uh, three figures, uh, an orc with... Uh, not quite so tailored, but a sort of a, a fairly decent uh, attire. Um, and uh, could you make a quick per, uh, perception check for me, please? Come. Well, that's not very good. That's a nine. Uh, uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, you, you notice that one of his arms seems diff, uh, a little unusual. Uh, it's, it's sort of, his hand is metal. Um, and. Uh, Sort of, it's a, a mechanical hand, but don't know how far up his arm that goes. But the other, in, uh, one of the other individuals is a half ogre, uh, a little bit bigger than York, but um, and just as ugly, as they would say. And the third individual is a slight elven girl, um, in a nice uh, sort of 
in a, sort of a, a black business suit. Um, and uh, she sort of uh, looks quite in control of herself um, and sort of looks like she's waiting for something exciting to happen. Um, maybe. Uh, but this uh, this individual who's, who's introduced himself to you um, says, Oh, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is uh, Kelvin Flanks. Um, and I, um, I represent uh, an insurance company. And uh, we uh, assist um, places of business in protecting themselves from um, unfortunate incidents. And we were... Uh, hoping that you uh, would like to take up a policy with us to prevent any uh, future incidents occurring. I see. Can I make an insight roll on this gentleman? Yes, you can. What, what are you trying to perceive insight? I'm... Because being approached by someone offering you insurance <laughs> like this directly is unusual. Yes. I tried to ascertain what he's really up to. Mm hmm So I think I might. 23. Oof. Goodness. Yeah. Um, you've heard of other businesses being approached and offered uh, this sort of, this form of um, coverage and those that haven't taken it or uh, uh, have missed payments or whatever have usually um, met a, uh, some sort of problem either in, you know themselves or their premises um, have had issues um, whether they're related um, you're pretty sure uh, that they probably are because it seems a bit of a coincidence uh, with a twenty-three, you'd be you'd you'd have that conclusion. I see. What kind of expense are we talking? About? Oh, oh, uh, 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 nothing too um, uh, drastic. Um, um, a, a mere uh, ten gold pieces per day. Hmm. I mean, what price can you put on your the safety of your livelihood? And, and, and obviously your occupants. What I mean, price indeed. Hmm, I, I mean, I, I often hear in my line of work of, of businesses burning down or owners beaten and left for dead. It's a, it's a tough world out there, isn't it? Would you not agree? Oh, it most certainly is a very tough world. For some of us, I suspect it will only get tougher. Hmm. I mean, I would hate for such an occurrence to happen to uh, such a, a lovely place as this and uh, 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 such an upstanding citizen as yourself. Flatter me, sir. Um, very well. I think that we can come to terms. Oh, very good. Um, I, I will leave you my card and someone will be uh, around to arrange... Um, a suitable payment plan or something, a collection, uh, something. Um, here's my card. And he sort of just slides this card across your desk towards you, uh, okay. ma making sure he doesn't touch you. He's, he's, he's no interest of being in contact with anybody. Um, and he uh, goes, oh, th uh, thank you. A and you will not be uh, um, disappointed with the service you... And he, and he oh, saw... I'm sure one thing I will not be is disappointed. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. Um, and he's, as he he slowly turns to go, he goes, oh yes. Um, before I forget, and he, uh, sort of from inside his jacket, he he, he, he ha uh, brings out a piece of paper. Uh, it looks like a letter that's been opened. Um, yes, a, 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 a young lad uh, was delivering this to you. Uh, this morning. Um, it's a shame those runners are so untrustworthy, don't you think? And it appears that the letter has been opened. And, he, and he's clearly sort of glancing through it as he's handing it to you. Um, oh, so Say you... no more 
I said more, I've encountered problems of this sort before. Oh, good, good. Oh, uh, it says, oh, it, it appears you're some sort of cook. Uh, are you a good cook? I, I, I would like to think that uh, my patrons would agree that I'm a good cook. Oh, good. Oh, may, maybe I would uh, be able to um, enjoy one of your meals. Of course, name the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and, he, and he puts the paper, uh, the, the note on, on the desk. And uh, um, thank you. Uh, as I said, we will be in touch. And he turns and leaves, and, and the other three follow him out. Uh, uh, the lady sort of watches you as, uh, as, as she's the last one to leave. And the door closes behind, and they have gone. Have a look at the letter. You can. I, uh, I will read it to you. Um, it says, Dear Sir, as per previous correspondence, we have dispatched a representative to go through our spice and herb products in the hopes that you will continue to be in a position to relay findings and thoughts of our range uh, as you assist, assist in extending our reach into new frontiers. As a treat, a flowery afternoon tea awaits. Yours, Chandri, Lilith and Spitch. Purveyors of spice. Uh, if you would, if you want to make a some kind of uh, roll, to or unless you have some thoughts on what what this letter is from, I have strong thoughts on what this letter yes. is, uh, based on my character, based on what yes. I know about him. Um, am I aware of this uh, place? Uh, you know full well it's not a real company you don't buy anything from these people um, okay. uh, you never ask for a representative to be dispatched um, and you know there is the code there um, no but I, I, I'm asking if I wanted to relay anything to these people I, would I know where to go um, yes uh, if you make an intelligence roll for me please Straight intelligence. Yeah. Uh, 13. Okay, yeah. Um, you, you know that a, a flowery afternoon tea is a bit of an odd thing to say in a letter. Yes. You know, you think that's probably asking for a rendezvous and you know that, you know full well, having lived in this city for some time, there is a well-known botanical garden in the middle of it and um, the afternoon would assume that it's uh, a noon meeting. So basically they, they, they would be asking uh, to meet at noon in the gardens. Uh, you, you're not sure who exactly, but you know that somebody is asking to meet you there. Okay. 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 So uh, as it's morning, we will leave you there to carry on uh, tending to your uh, customers and um, residents uh, and we will move to uh, Drosko um, what, what are you up to on this fine morning the sun is coming up now oh, Drosko will uh, wake up um, early as he is wont to do um, got some errands to run today. I want to look around the town, really. Um, try and find some friends. A friendly face. I could do with a friendly face round about now. Uh, you know that the markets um, will be uh, open, as it is most days. Um, and there's always things going on in the town. Where do you want to head to? Particularly anywhere particular? Um... Yes, I'll head to the market, I think. Okay, okay. well, so uh, as you um, make your way to the market uh, through the towns and streets, there's uh, yeah, the, the morning bustle of markets. There's stalls selling uh, vegetables and fruits and spices and fish and all manner of things that have been brought in on ships. Uh, a stall with books. There's a stall with... Uh, um, 
clothes. You could find a stall with most things. Uh, with, with, uh, mm. If you were looking for something, you could probably find us somebody peddling it. Whether it's good quality or not is a different matter. But <laughs> um, he's saying to himself, uh, "Friends, friends, how, how do we make friends? Um, um, I'll buy some f- flowers. I think people like flowers, and it's a nice thing to yeah, give to people." Good. There's a there's a stall uh, with a uh, an elderly looking uh, goblin um, sat there sat on a oh. on a tall stall um, with a, a a variety of flowers and foliage. Yeah. Um, good day. Hello, um, greetings. Um, I'd like to buy some of your most. Aromatic flowers, please. Ooh, ooh, after some smelly posies, are you? Yes. Impressing a girl? Or, or, or a boy? Uh, it could be a girl oh, or a boy. Indeed, I'm indeed, not sure yet. Indeed. Um, well, we have uh, this lovely red flower. Um, it's uh, got a, an, an unusual bouquet. I've been told it smells of sweets. You know, ca- you know, sweets. Sweet treats. Oh, that sounds really, really nice and exciting. You, you've been told. Can you not smell them yourself? No, I have no sense of smell. Oh, okay. So, um, so you, I'm afraid you have to, well, you could, I'm sure your nose works. So you, uh, it does, yes. What's it smell like? She just grabs a flower and shoves it in your face. Oh, What's it smell like? Does it smell? Does it smell like sweet treats? Yes. <laughs> um, yes, you've been told correct, actually. Oh. Um, oh, good. And she, she, she goes, she sort of, sort of tries to sort of hide that she's writing, and writing down, yes, it does smell. She's sort of writing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's confirmed. Um, do, do you need me to smell any other flowers for you um, today? Oh, if, you, if you've got a minute, yeah. Well, What's I'm this not blue doing anything one? else. What's this blue one smell like? Uh, and it, uh, yeah, it's it's sort of a very deep blue. Uh, it's sort of. Uh... Oh. Well, uh, sometimes when the wind's right, I get the smell of the ocean from the tower that I used to live in. Oh, yes. um, it smells a bit like the ocean, actually. Oh, oh, oh I have to think of a name for it. Have you been here long? Uh, no. Oh, I suppose yeah. you won't be able to help me then, apart from the flowers, which no, I'm really no, grateful you, for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, take you seem a nice chap. Uh, take a take a pick 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 a flower. Uh, well, lunch. you you recommended I mean, to, to be bed honest. One. To be honest, this isn't my stall. I'm looking after it for for my brother. But, uh, but, um, oh, oh, and what what's your stall? Oh, I don't have one. Oh. I, I've, I've, I'm just looking after it from today because he's out of town. Um, but yeah. Uh, and she makes she makes a little bunch of she picks a red flower and a yellow flower and a blue flower and she picks them and wraps it all and it's very actually nicely wrapped. It's very you know she, she puts a nice little bit of coloured string oh. on it and it's quite it's a, it's a bit of tissue paper around it and it's it's quite a good bouquet. Uh, and she hands it to you and she goes, um, hang on. Hang on, and she sort of gets a, a, a piece of paper, and, and she sort of. Well, uh, uh, oh yeah, I did put one in. Yeah. And uh, uh, and then she goes, oh, uh, 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 there'll be uh, five silver pieces, please. Oh, oh yes, yes, I do need to pay. I do. Um, and he starts like awkwardly jingling yeah. around, trying to you know when people are trying to count out. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he, he, he counts out for us. Um, well, uh, could you make a perception roll for me, James, please? Mm. Yes. I can try. Natural one. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, she she, she uh, sort of looks over your shoulder. Uh, 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 she's looking at something over your shoulder. Oh. 
he's just going to carry on going, um, can I just say, you're actually um, really rather good at this flower. You've done a lovely bouquet. And I was buying these to give to a friend. And I mean, you've been very kind to me. And, uh, well, I'd like you to have these flowers. Um, oh, that's very kind of you. Um, do, do I have to pay you for them now? Oh, no, no, it's a gift for a friend. Oh, oh, okay. Um, would a friend, um, tell somebody something that they'd seen that affected them? Is that what friends do? Well, if you're looking out for their best interest, I, I think oh, okay. that's what friends do. Okay. Um, well, uh, well, can taking that into consideration and, uh, uh, that person over there, and, and she sort of points over your shoulder to uh, someone making their way through the crowd away from you, um, has just taken something out of your pocket and is making their way away. Oh, thank you, but... Very... He's going to take off running. <laughs> okay. um, the person uh, notices that you started running, and I would like you to roll uh, uh, for initiative, please. What? To, uh, well, no, it's just just to for order of running. <laughs> Four. Oh, good, good. <laughs> right, they they rolled an eleven, so they are making their way. Uh, they will run. Little, little, little. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. They're trying to make their way through the crowd. The crowd. It's a busy morning. Everybody's getting their stuff. They're trying to, you know, they they've slowed up. They're slowed by. The crowd um, trying to get away. Uh, uh, so it's your go. What do you want to do? Oh, okay. I'll, be, I'll be shouting, Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> and try to get past as well. Okay. So, yeah, you've both been um, sort of struggling through this crowd. There's sort of people jostling you back. Oh, get, get, get over. Stop shoving. I'm oh, sorry. Um, okay. So, uh, there. They continue to make their through, way through the crowd and and they sort of make their way out to the other side of the crowd um, into the into the uh, marketplace square, market square. Right? Um, so it's, uh, it's your go. Okay, how clearly can I see them? Uh, you can see the back of them. They've got a cloak uh, over the head. Um, they don't look very tall, probably five, uh, five. You know, sort of five foot five or something like that, and they uh, uh, leapt over some barrels, it's sort of like a, a maze of barrels, to a certain thing. They've, they've sort of so you've got to make make your way through some okay. barrels. How? Uh, how? Quite. How? How subtly could I? Wait a minute. Ooh, James is cooking something. <laughs> Could I cast Hex on them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or is that going to attract a lot of attention? Well, it depends on what, what what is the components of a Hex spell. What have you got? What do you need to do? Well, I do have uh, Arcane Focus of a Wand, but it would normally need an Eye of a Newt, and it uses all of them, Vocal, Somatic, and Material. Well, it depends on whether you want to stand in the middle of a marketplace and cast a spell at somebody. Um, which is, which Trosco... is quite an uncommon <laughs> sight nowadays. Trosco will fiddle around in in the, a pocket inside his uh, jacket, and consider, and then decide better, um, and will. Um, so he's hesitated to okay. do that. He's okay. thinking through that. Okay. So would you like to still try and make your way through these mazes? I'll, I'll let you have a yes. Of the movement. Yes. Um, uh, I need a uh, a dexterity, uh, either acrobatics or uh, some sort of intelligence roll. Um, probably a. Um, nom, nom, nom. Uh, <laughs> that's a new special roll. 
a, a perception perhaps. Um, just, I think yeah. at the moment, yeah, I'll do. I'll yeah. go for an acrobatics. I'm yeah. not proficient in it, but. Uh... Well, there we go. It's not high dexterity. Ooh, eighteen. Oh yes, you do it. You you parkour. You do it a little <laughs> flip, and it, you surprise yourself. In fact, you sort of you, you just the, the, the adrenaline, kick, your gen, adrenaline kicks in, and yeah, you vault over one, and you sort of. Uh, do a somersault over another one, and you sort of, before you know it, you're, you're the other side, uh, and you're um, well, you're not gaining on this person, but you, you, you've got past this uh, particular uh, obstacle. Um, could you roll a d20 for me, please? Eight, eight, Ooh. up ahead, uh, you can just see them up the street a bit. They seem to be tussling with a, 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 a some sort of um vagrant you know, not coming to blows but they sort of got in each other's way and it's all become a bit unnecessary um but they managed to sort of uh, sort of juke the, out the way and they've, they've sort of made their way past him it's 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 a bit of a it's delayed them up a bit now so that so they the, the amount of time that they've gained uh they've lost again okay i'm going to seeing that i'm going to try and run faster to okay. get after them as fast as this little okay. you, you can, scrawny man can do. Yes, you can dash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're you're gaining on them now. You're you're sort of you can see them quite closely now. Um, Getting very wheezy now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse uh, me. Let me have one more go. Uh, no, nothing. No complications for you. You you you're gaining on them, um, and then. Out of nowhere, a half-orc policeman steps in front of you uh, and and blocks your path. Okay, well, I'm running very fast, so I probably run straight into his okay. body, Yeah. collide uh, with him. Make a strength... Uh, <laughs> strength saving throw. Uh, yeah, just a strength check. Okay, nine. Well, yeah. So you hit this, you run straight flat into the chest of this guy who's a good foot taller than you and fall back on your bum. Um, it's, so you're sat, you know, you're, you know on the ground. And uh, and he's got a very, um, stir, he's very big. He's sort of a big burly uh, a half orc. He's, got, he's, he's clearly got the uh, uniform of the um, police force of, of the town. Um, what, what are you oh. doing then? I'll say, oh, I'm glad I bumped into you. <laughs> yeah. I was just informed by my friend that someone took something out of my pocket and I was chasing them. Um, and it, do you it, think you could assist me? He looks around him, doesn't he? Can you see them now? Well, no, because you're standing in the way, but I'm sure that if we carried on going this way, that's the way I was following him, that we'd find him together. I can't see anybody. Yes, well, you, you don't know what they look like. I've been chasing them. Well, why don't you tell me then? Well, they were around um, five foot tall. Um, I mean, I only saw the back of their head because I was chasing them. If I... Um, I didn't notice them take it because I wouldn't have let them. Um, What's your name? My name is Josco Damali. Nice to meet you. Mm. Are you a wanted man? Because all I can see is a man running through the streets looking a little <laughs> bit worried. Um, no, no, I, I in fact am not wanted at all. Um, and he and he get and he bends down to you, and he's got very fierce cross eyes. Are you sure? Yes. Do you mind helping me up? Actually, my I'm getting rubber soggy here in this uh, puddle. It's not my problem. Um, no. Well, I suppose I'm the one who fell. I did run into you. Um, I'll, I'll just get up a minute. Um, and just as you're starting to get up, uh, you just feel that some hands come to your elbow and, and help you up. Uh, sort of help you lift you up, uh, uh, you know. Sort of assist you in helping mm. you up. 
Uh, oh, and you look, okay. and it's uh, it's a young, uh, well, young half elf uh, lad. Uh, his, his clothes are a little bit worn. They're not, you know, they're sort of. He, he looks like he, he spends a lot of the time on the streets or sort of uh, not particularly rough, but you know, he's he's not a, a wealthy uh, appearance. It's uh, and and he looks up to him. Oh, uh, terribly sorry, officer. Uh, my friend here. Um, he got a bit spooked, you know. He's, he's just got a bit uh, confused. Um, I'll, I'll take care of this. Um, uh, uh, come with me. Come with me. We'll all, we'll all be uh, fine. Let's go back um, to uh, get, get you something to eat. You know what you're like when you're hungry. Come on. Um, Sorry, uh, officer. Um, I, I don't have any flowers to give you. I gave them to someone else. That's okay. Uh, and, he, and the officer's all goes, oh, all right. Well, stop him running through the streets. It's annoying. I'm sorry. And the, and the officer turns around and, and disappears. And uh, and the lad sort of takes you down an alleyway, quickly away from the policeman. Um, it looked like you needed uh, a bit of a hand there. I hope you don't mind me. Uh, oh, I don't want to say coming to the rescue, but uh, that, that officer is known for... Uh, getting his truncheon out and clocking people on the head uh, oh. if you say the wrong thing. So uh, I thought you, you looked like a decent enough fella, so uh, oh. I thought... Um, well, um, yes, thank you. Um, sorry, oh. uh, my name's Vic Truce, uh, and, and he holds his hand out. Um, Vic Truce? Vic Truce. Uh, Vic Truce. Uh, um, two words. V Vic Truce. <laughs> My my name's Trosco Tamali. That's that's two words. Wow, that's that's a fancy Trusco. sounding name. I've never heard anybody with that name. Well, well, not the name um, you know, with a name as fancy as that. I mean, I've never met anyone called Vic Truce before. Well, there you go. We've we've, we've both got uh, something new for the day. <laughs> yes. So, so um, where, where are you from? Are you are you from from the port or? Um, not really. No, not not not. Not from here, here. Um, it's not too far away. All right. It's just you seem a bit lost, that's all. Well, I am lost now. I did know where I was. And then I was chasing that fellow who um, I was told took something from my pocket. Oh, what? are you missing anything? I'll have a look. Am I missing anything? Um, you've still got your coins. Um, I don't know what's on your inventory list, but it's, it's something. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, ha you are missing something. Uh, but it's something that nothing particularly valuable. But uh, it's just, uh, just uh, you know, something that you'd keep in your back pocket. They they were just they were getting whatever they could. Um, oh, that's I mean, all right. I'm I'm sure it'll probably turn up. Uh, you know, these things do. I, I mean, I've got I've got eyes and ears. I might be able. I could put a few feelers out amongst my friends. See if uh, I could get you it back. Oh, well, um. Yes, it's just a little notebook, really. I, I think oh. perhaps they thought it was more than what it was. Oh, um, yeah, they probably thought it was like a little wad of, wad of money or something. You know, yeah. sort of or something important. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I could give you a hand with that. I, I'll, see, I'll see what I can do. Um, oh. I mean, uh, uh, is there anything else? I mean, I've, I've got some contacts, so you look like you might, might need a bit of help. Do you want a sweet? And he, and he pulls out, he sort of seems to, a, a bag of sweets oh. appears. Um from under his yes. coat. Yes, thank you. No, I'll take <laughs> Justin is shaking his head. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. He takes, he, ta he takes one himself and, and, and puts it in his mouth. They're just some sweets. I mean, <laughs> not everybody's got sweet too. Oh, I love sweets. Yes, well, I, uh, I haven't had many before, but this is really, really nice. I'm having a really good day, actually, today. Oh, that's good. It's good. So, so... So, what, what's your story? What, what are you looking for? Where are you going? Oh. I mean, oh. most people, you know, sort of looking for something, aren't they? Yeah, well, yes, that's, that's very wise of you, actually. Yes, they are. Um, well, I've... I'm looking for... It's a long... Um, I'm just looking for friends today, really. Um, okay. And... and, and uh, if any of those friends happen to know how to or are going to uh, 
Kraken's Holt? Have you, you heard oh, of yeah, the Kraken's Holt? Kraken? Oh, I've, I've never been there myself, but, um, oh. I, I, you know, a lot goes on there. It's a big place, big place. Lots of stuff going on there. Well, I, I've been there a couple of times before. Um, I think I know a few people there, I think. So, uh, so I've you never... Just looking for passage? Yes, yes, because I've never been... I've, I've never... I've been there, but I've never gone there. Uh, okay. I'm not sure that makes it, sense, but yeah. Uh, the, the travel's always been expedited a little bit, and uh, Ooh, I don't fancy. actually know the way. Oh, oh, I see. You've you've been taken, but you've never taken yourself. Yes. It's like, like you got in a car and you got driven there, but you don't know the way. I think so. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm sure I can, uh, I've probably got, uh, know somebody who might be, uh, I mean, it might not be the most glamorous form of transport, but, oh. but they might they might be able to sort you out, I'm sure. Um, y yes. Oh, wow. Well, Vitrus, you are the best friend that I have met so far. Well, in I, the I aim to please, you know. You look like you needed a, a, a friendly hand, so here I, went, here I am. Wow, you are such a good person. I'll tell you what, uh... Do you, do you know the club Clex? It's it's just um, on the on the dock front there. It's just on the dock it, front there. What what type of club is it? Is it, is oh, it, is it, it uh, like a uh, chess club? Uh, I'm I'm sure you could probably play chess there if you did it for money. Uh, um, um, but the, yeah, they put music on and stuff. They have the nice food there and stuff. It's a very famous place. It is it is once a lovely lovely place. Uh, very famous. Best best acts in all the land used to go there. Um, wow. Yeah. So it, yeah. So I tell you what. Uh, I'll go and put some little feelers out. Uh, see what I can find. See what I can get. And I tell you what. My treat. I'll take you there and tell you what I can. What I found. Yeah. Yes. Thank so I'll you. I'll meet you there. Meet you there this evening. Uh, you can't miss it. It's just on the. It's, it's just on the front. It's just a. Uh, just uh, before the uh, the old uh, dock storage warehouses and stuff. Okay. It'll probably have lights and stuff out the front. It usually does. Okay, I will wait for you there. Okay, I'll see you there. And he shakes your hand very vigorously. Um, and then uh, turns around and goes, See you, Rope! And uh, disappears down the alley. Oh. Away. I will make my way wandering out, but I won't run. Because I've learnt the lesson. <laughs> okay, lovely. Uh, we will move on to our fourth player, Mr. Don Bunker. Hello. So we will move on to Solomon. Uh, not quite mid morning, but it's. Uh, mm -mm. You've had a little bit of a lie in because you usually have mm. late nights doing your line of work uh, in your little flat. Above. Uh, rest, resting on the couch. Yeah, uh, and you hear a sort of a, a knock at the door, at your door. Uh, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. And you just hear a, 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 for, a voice, that a, a lady's voice that's familiar as one of the other workers of the, of the club. Um, and goes, oh, uh, Clack wants to see you uh, 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 as, as soon as. I'll be done in a second. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so as, as you're stumbling around your bed sit, um, um, you can you can hear, uh, di uh, not quite so um, distantly, a sort of... <laughs> from the room next door, which is your uh, colleague, uh, Big Baz, the ogre, sleeping. Um, the walls are thin. Um, Hi. This place is cheap for walls yeah, are thin. Indeed. Um, so I'll probably uh, go over to like the coffee table. I imagine there'd be a uh, like a drink of whiskey, like left a little bit left over. So mm -hmm. I'll just swig that, and just take a moment to let his eyes adjust, pull on his like vest and his jacket, and head downstairs. Yeah. Well, the the office of uh, Arthur Clack is uh, on the same floor as you as you. Um, it's just no. at the end of the corridor. So. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of pull himself on, pull himself together, and then just kind of uh, head out and go and go to his office. Okay. And uh, so as he gets there, I'll just kind of knock on the door for entering. 
uh, uh, come. Yeah. Enters. Uh, as you as you enter the room, uh, the room's a very must has a very musty smell. It's quite damp. Uh, it's, it's seen better times. There's piles of paper and books, ledgers, boxes of stuff, and more boxes of papers and ledgers everywhere. It's sort of you have to sort of step round these things and uh, and uh, on the walls though uh, are very uh, cleanly kept uh, gambling me memorabilia, you know, sort of like a, a, a fancy uh, deck of cards, sort of in a frame. Mm -hmm. um, some sort of golden dice sort of in, in set and sort of, you know, sort of various uh, yeah. items. Um, uh, uh, and behind this desk, which is piled high of paper, uh, is um, your boss, uh, a Mr. Arthur Clack, the owner of the, of the club. He is a human male. Uh, he has a, mm -hmm. a, a slightly worn, dark browny sort of suit. Um, has a, a, a very uh, bright red tie. He's mm -hmm. uh, got... Jet black hair, which is sort of slicked back uh, with a sort of uh, what's that, uh, like the the little V, a oh, widow's peak. That's the one. Thank you. Uh, that that sort of making its way through, and he's rolling a coin over his fingers. Ah, uh, uh, I'm just, uh, one of the uh, the ladies said you wanted to see me. Ah, of course, of course. Uh, Solomon, do do please sit down. Uh, 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 just 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 push that stuff off oh, on the floor. Uh, yeah, it's just a part. Uh, I'll, uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll stand. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yes, um, yes. Thank you, thank you for coming. Uh, I won't keep you long. You, you have been uh, in my employment uh, a little bit of time now, and I just wanted mm -hmm. to say that you have been uh, a model employee. You've always been on time. I mean, it helps living on the premises. It, it, it uh, does. It certainly does. Uh, I mean, you've always been. Uh, uh, firm but fair with the naughty clients you know those those little troublemakers uh, well I, I try to keep uh, keep the fights to a minimum good good that's what we like uh, keep the fights down the money flowing yeah indeed yeah yeah. I'm, I'm trying to sort of think of a sort of a personal low, uh, sort of yes anyway um yeah, I, I think uh, I can trust you. I can trust you, can't I, Solomon? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, and, and I'd like to think uh, that you could trust me as as your employee. I mean, I, I pay your wages, I gave you a, well, a place of, to of live. Of course I trust you, sir. Hmm, good. Now, I won't deny that Clax has had better times. Uh, I mean, my father, he, he had it at the peak Oh, it was a, it was the place to be, but uh, uh, you know, more recent times a bit harder. Um, I mean, to put it bluntly, I want to make a change in this city. I've got big plans. What did you have in mind, sir? I want to put an end to this oppressive criminal gang that seems to be trying to put its grip around our fine city. That the old street gang, you know, you know the one, you know, they're the, the going around sort of trying to take money off. off yeah, yeah, off, I, I, uh, I know who you're. Yeah, well, where's yeah. this? Where's this coming from? Well, I, 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 I've got a plan to start a new era of free enterprise where co companies can, and industry can bloom um, for a small percentage. And to start this, uh, I I have arranged, uh -huh. and he sort of looks over his shoulders. Even though you know there's only two of you in the room. So. Yeah. I've uh, I've arranged to to have a shipment. A shipment came in yesterday. Uh, it's in storage uh, in the on the docks, just up the just up the way a bit. Right. Um, and the, yeah. No one here. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I would like you and uh, and a player of keys. He'll be downstairs, I expect, uh, to uh, head over there and. Um, and, and sort of arrange some sort of transportation to get it back here um, ASAP. I mean, go and have breakfast. You know, I, I don't want you to go in there hungry and things. It's, it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. But, uh, mm. yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah, you, know, you know, time is money kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, player, player will be waiting for you downstairs. Um, right. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll so, head uh, down so, now. Yeah. If you could just let me know... Um, 
when they're going to be bringing it over and I'll uh, make sure oh, the course, doors are open. Of course. And stuff. Okay. Lovely jobly. Um, I will see you later then. See you later. Any questions? No? Good. Okay. Bye bye. See you later. So long. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you make your way down a creaky corridor, um, down some creaky stairs, uh, through the back, uh, the door that sort of opens into the main room of the club. Um, the club has seen better times. Of the, 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 you know, the chairs are a bit tatty, mm -hmm. some, the odd odd chair and things like that. Um, it's, it's a little bit dusty. It just needs a good pe liquor paint and sort of. So a, a once grand place can indeed, have passed its best. Indeed. Um, player is uh who is a tabaxi you will know him uh character wise but um he is a tabaxi uh looks like a sort of a cheetah coloring um has a little flat cap um and uh sort of a, a, a dungaree a sort of a gray dungarees and a sort of um a navy blue shirt uh rolled up the sleeves um he is very often the piano player um of, a, of an evening's entertainment uh, but he is also uh, sort of a, a bit of a handyman, mm -hmm. and 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 does jobs for for Arthur and stuff like that. Yes. And he's just sat at, sat at a table with a, a a breakfast laid out for you. So I just realised do I have to describe um, Solomon? Yes, if you would like to. Yeah. Okay. So Solomon is a Leonin, so he's a a lion man. Um, he probably stands around seven, eight foot tall. He's quite big. He's quite imposing fella. Quite muscular, broad. Um, he wears a simple kind of... It would be white, but not so much vest. Uh, it's kind of an off-white now vest. Um, dark cargo pants and boots. Big kind of leather uh, jacket with a fur-lined uh, collar. Kind of wool. Kind of, you know, like the, the old kind of um, aviator-style kind of mm. jacket. Um, one of those. And then huge kind of mane of of hair that's kind of a dirty brown kind of you know the traditional kind of um lion mane but then it's somewhat kind of made into dreadlocks and then pulled back behind to kind of keep it out of his face um few scars and about the place but like i say for the most part just a somewhat handsome lion man okay um yeah, uh, and, and player is sort of this thing. Um, uh, mm -hmm. He has uh, one of his fangs is too long and pops out from his top lip and just pushes his bottom lip in permanently. Mm -hmm. It's in, in sort of so it's always showing. Um, yeah, I'll come over to the table and sit down. Just, Morning, keys. Hey, how you doing, Sally? Not too bad. What we got here? I understand we've got to go and check on some box. What I understand too, you, eh? you got any idea why the boss is pushing this kind of thing? Not to uh, pry, obviously. I don't want to. No, no, no. I, pry. I, I, I don't know. He, uh, I think he's got it in his head that he's gonna change the world in some way. But uh, I think personally, it's a bit of a big task. He'll need some, uh, some help doing it. But, uh, he'll need some help. But uh, I mean, he pays the he pays. My bills. So he, he pays all our bills. Would you pass the uh, pass the bacon? Indeed. Uh, here you go, sir. And he sort Thank of like you. spoons some on there. Bits, of, bits and pieces onto his plate and just eating as we go. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah, so you have a, a, a lovely breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, head out to the docks. Out. Yes. Uh, the, yes. Sun's come up. Um, there's a busy marketplace. Sort of bit hustle and bustle on the docks. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you can hear a bit of a kerfuffle uh, down the road of somebody ch chasing somebody, shouting after them. Um, <laughs> and um, but we're, we, they, you, uh, you and player carry on up towards the. There's uh, always someone up to something in this oh, town. Don't you know it? Uh, yes. So uh, you approach the uh, the docks uh, storage. There's a big warehouse. Uh, the doors. One of the doors is slid open, and there's a young lad uh, just leaning against the sort of the doorpost, having, having a smoke. Uh, and sees you two coming, and sort of. Um, I assume you're uh, you're a friend of Mr. Clerk. Oh, oh! And he suddenly he looks very he goes pale, and suddenly looks very nervous. Um, um, hey, boss, boss! And 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 in, in, from inside you you can hear a, a gruff uh, female voice. Go, oh, what is it? Uh, Not uh, a friend, then. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 yeah, we're friends. I mean, uh, 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 boss. Um, 
and then from inside you can hear uh, somebody trudging from the darkness within. There's a, a, dwar- a dwarven, a female dwarf, sort of quite burly, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, uh, these two have come from uh, Mr. Mr. Clarks. Oh, morning. Um, yeah, you you two better come with me. She escorts right. you in. You see, uh, we had a bit of a break in last night. It appears some some of the crates would go uh, were opened and some things were taken. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that uh, one of them was uh, Mr. Clarks. Pop- indeed. Um, and she uh, she gestures okay. gestures here the uh, the crate. I'll uh, head over and take a look at it. Okay. Uh, if you'd like to make a uh, investigation roll, uh, it will be terrible. I'll tell matter. you now. Uh, um, <laughs> um, player will assist you, so you can have advantage. Ooh. Because you're both looking at it. So. Fourteen. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Two, so better than so, I thought. So yeah, you look over it, um, and you can see it's uh, along the top. It's definitely been sort of crowbarred sort of jimmied open uh, as you lift the lid you both look inside and there was a false compartment so there was sort of something uh, some sort of uh, Mm -hmm. food packets or something uh, that was covering uh, a secret compartment in the center of the of the crate if that makes sense so it was Mm -hmm. hidden inside Uh, and that is was found straight you know it looks you're pretty sure that whoever opened it kind of knew there was something in the middle of it that mm. something was they knew what it. they were looking for yeah. already yeah well as you as you've got your hands uh, i think um the you sort of inc- uh, accidentally touch where the criminals um had their mm. hands and it's wet pull my hand up and then just kind of give it a sniff and it <laughs> smells horrible really oh. foul like what is that it's like it smells a bit sewagey oh god yeah. damn it yeah Hmm. I mean, and, and then, and then the, 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 the dwarf uh, lady says, oh, uh, I mean, uh, this happens occasionally, but uh, usually they just go through the whole place. They just ransack the whole, like, you know. Who, yeah. Who's they? Oh, you, you know, you know, people who break in, burglars and stuff. When, on the odd times we have been broken hmm. into, they've, they've just gone through whatever they can. But this seems... Do different. they often leave sewage behind? Um, uh, uh, that, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I mean, I haven't called the police in yet because uh, obviously uh, uh, I, I was told that um, Mr. Clack yeah. had a special, um, this was a special yeah. package. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I mean, they usually just grab whatever's near the door, but they seem to have come straight for this, another a couple of boxes, but uh, they, were, they seem to be very particular about which ones was broken into and I and can have a look around and see the other boxes that have been yeah, broken into sure. just see what's sure. if there's uh, anything that might tie yeah. it up uh one has a, a a label on the front the address is a, a silversmiths in in the city mm-hmm. uh, and the other one is uh, addressed to uh, uh, just a, a a merchant um uh, a phileas grand you got any ideas on this keys uh, no, uh, that doesn't seem, seems mighty strange that they just went straight for these particular boxes and not, because I mean, there's, they're quite a way back in. Mm. I mean, yeah, we, 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 we should go and tell the boss. Yeah, we should. Mm. One, sec- One second, I was going to have a look at something. Can I see if there's any kind of like trail of the sewage um, um, stuff that would lead anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you can have a have a uh, an investigation. Oh no, my more investigation. I'm so bad. Uh, oh, nine. Oh. Uh, I mean, you can see a few footprints uh, on the floor around the crates, but you can't really get any headway as to which direction they went mm. in. But there's a few sort of soggy, you know, sort of marks of sort of dirty footprints around. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're sort of just around the crates and then yeah i got nothing it's best to go let's go tell the boss so yeah so you make your way back to uh to clax mm-hmm. um, and, and and when you ret- uh, when you get back in there he's back in the main room 
sort of talking to one of the employees. So yeah, I'll just wait until he uh, yeah. wait until he finishes and yeah, say, okay. just make myself oh, make my presence back. known, and then let's say, uh, you're back. Um, uh, and what's the packet when they bring in when they bring in the package? Uh, bad news on that, sir. Um, someone appears to have taken whatever it was you you had. Uh, it, it, uh, he pauses it, for a second. And there's then, not really it, much in the way of, of, of leads, just uh, some sewagey kind of smell, if that means anything to you. He just he goes to the nearest table and flips it onto the floor and goes, Those damned old street gang, how did they know? Oh. Sir, uh, the, uh, the old, old street? Yeah. Solomon, if any of them blooming thieves come into this club, you keep an yep. eye on them. You don't let them leave your sight. Of course, sir. Of um, course. Uh, you, you know how to spot them, right? They've always got something bright green on them. Look out for green, got it. Wh- whether it's a tie or a hat or, mm-hmm. or whatever, it's something. Green is bad yeah. now, got yeah. it. Well, yeah. So if you, if you see any of them in, in here tonight, you keep an eye on them. Of course, sir. Will do. No. Can I get you anything or you seem a bit uh, rattled? No, no, thank you. And he and he sort of storms off, um, banging the doors open as he as he goes. So I'll just head over to the to the bar and just one of the uh, barmaids or whatever. Can you take a uh, a brandy up? He's going to be uh, in a bad mood for a while. Yeah, will do. Thank you. you. Pause it out. Okay. Right. So we will we will leave Solomon and go back to Ula, who would have. By this point, made her way into the docks. On, on, uh, on before a... I leave old Bess, can yes. I ask Kenny something? Uh, you could, certainly can. I, I sort of approach him and uh, he's a furbolg, so he'll know Elvish. And I just ask, um, I'm going to need to find a, a hotel and maybe a way to get money because I think I've spent all of mine. <laughs> so how, how, any recommendations? He, he sort of looks a bit thoughtful and a, and a little bit sorry. Uh, and then um, the older gentleman sort of goes, Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, um, Ken, Kenny, uh, Kenny can't speak. Oh, I, I, I am sorry. Oh, no, no, it's no, no problem. I was just inquiring about, a poss- you know, any cheap hotels. They don't have to be nice, just something I can get to. Uh, okay, um, uh, uh, and the old man sort of, uh, he's sort of thinking and looking at the docks and sort of trying to see if he can see, and then he sort of uh, notices something. I'm sorry, uh, 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 what, what, what's your name? Ula, uh, Ula Garasa. Oh, that's strange, because as a, as a young lad, sort of just on the docks, holding a sign with your name, I, um, he's sort of looking oh. in this direction. Oh. And, and then you can look at, he's, as you see on the, and he sort of, uh, as he catches your eye, he goes, oh, waves at you. Do so I recognize this um, boy? No, you don't recognize him. Oh, thank um, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't recognize him. Um, he is a, a, a male elf in his 60s or 70s for an elf, which means he's sort of an adolescent elf. Oh, okay. Um, uh, and he has jet black long hair, uh, which is ponytailed. Um, and he has a, a, a simple brown suit uh, with a shirt and tie. He's quite smart. Um, uh-huh. and, he, and he's sort of trying to sort of... I, see, I, see. I uh, approach. I sort of like uh, say another thank you to, yeah. to Kenny and the old yeah. fella. And, and they, they both went, eh, no problem. It was nice to have somebody uh, talkative on the, <laughs> on the, on the, <laughs> on the ship. And Kenny sort of laughs, mutely. Oh, I feel bad. I yeah, I, I go to this this man with a sign with my name. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, and he, and he sort of bows a little bit. Oh, oh um, don't bow. Uh, hi, uh, 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 my name's Jacob Fortin. Um, uh, uh, Jacob. Um, um. And uh, I was um, asked to wait here. Um, uh, I wasn't given a particular time or day 
So I've been um, here for mm. every, every morning for the last oh, two or three days. Um, boy, that's no problem. Who, that's, that's no problem. Who asked you to do this? Um, my my uh, my master. Um, uh, he he has been expecting you. Um, uh, I believe. Your, your, your mothers have been in contact with him? Oh, no. The whole point of this was to go out on my own. I... <sighs> well, um, at least I don't have to find a hotel. Uh, no, no. Um, uh, yes, so... Um, gosh, look at that stone. Isn't that a lovely colour? What? What? Sorry. What stone? I, sorry, I, I, sorry. No, I just... A... Who, who is... OK, specifically, who is who is in charge of you? Oh, uh, yeah. my master is, is, a, is a man uh, called Hans Grundorf. Um, Hans Grundorf. Yeah, I uh, do not recognise that no, name, so no. um, probably a work thing. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently he's quite good friends uh, with your mothers. Um, they go way back, apparently. I don't know the details. I'm sorry, I'm just um, uh, the is assistant. He, and I sort of uh, gesture to my fins. Is he... Uh, no, no, no. He he is a human man. Huh. Um, Weird. Yeah, but I, I am informed that you like books. Yes, that's that's true. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He he has effectively the library of the town. I mean, it's his private collection. Oh. It, it, most people can only go by appointment, and then even then, it's sort of a select. <laughs> um, yeah. So if 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 you want to just come, uh, 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 yeah, me. Lead, lead the way. I've, I mean, it's nice to be in a city again, but it is an unfamiliar one. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, um, yeah, there, there will be um, food, and uh, I, I don't know. Uh, have you eaten? Um, probably. I not since last night. Oh uh, well, uh, uh, we will be p- uh, putting on a, a sort of a a, um, a, a lunch. Oh good. Uh, and, yeah. Um, okay. Um, so he sort of scurries off, and um, every so often he'll, he'll stop and and sort of look at something like a, a flower in, in the front in someone's front garden or something, and he'll just get out a little notebook and just draw a little picture, and then, and then put it back. Huh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's uh, okay, Jacob. It's okay. Yeah. You um, you do your thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch. <laughs> and, um, and, then, and then eventually it sort of it comes to a down a sort of a street that has. Um, uh, like yeah. rows of, of townhouses, um, you know, the kinds that have the steps up to the front oh, door. Would um, be the nice part it, of the town. And uh, as you're approaching, uh, uh, here, it, here it is. Oh, uh, and on the sat on the on the um, on the front on the steps, at the lower steps, is a uh, a young girl. Uh, well, uh, a young lady, um, and she's crying. Uh, um. Oh, Jacob, do you know this girl? Um, n- n- no, she wasn't here when I left. Okay, um, well, that means she arrived here in the interim. Uh, oh, yeah. She's crying. Um, yeah, she's just... She's, I um, sh- uh, shout over, excuse me. Uh, and then she looks, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, You're crying. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm totally sorry. Um, no, and- no, 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 that wasn't why I pointed it out. Um, yes, she's she's a half, half elf. Oh, um, she dear. has curly strawberry blonde hair, and and her ears are, are just sticking out on either side. Um, oh, is I'm totally all right? sorry. I don't know where I am, and oh, it's just got. I can't well, believe. J- Jacob knows the city. Jacob, what area are we in? Um, well, we're just sort of in the in the in the in the, in the uh, craft section. Um, okay. Of the, of the well, t- we're in we were in a craft ward. Yeah. Um, and, and she sort of just go. It's all gonna go wrong. I can't believe. It. Oh, okay. Less of a physical way you are, more of an emotional way you. Okay, I follow. Oh, well, no, I don't um, know where I am in both senses. Oh, oh, ooh, oh. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I shouldn't let out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just. It's just. I was going to go up the steps that you're sat on. Oh, I'm sorry. She she sort of gets up. Goes. Oh, sorry. Um. You see, I'm getting married next week, and oh. and I, I was in the city to pick up a family heirloom, and it's gone missing, and uh, uh, 
and it's supposed to, uh -huh. and it's, it's supposed to bring luck to the marriage, and it's gone missing, and now I think the marriage is doomed. Okay, well, it's I mean, not who, doomed. Who, who just steals a silver tea set from an old couple? I mean, what's? I mean, what? No, I, I'm sorry, I, you're str you're I, stranger. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit. With, that was quite heavy. What you just sorry, said. Sorry, I um, But can, can you, you tell know, me? Can you, please? Can you just take me home? Everything's going to be okay. Um, I am very sorry for your loss of an heirloom. I, I kind of get it. Oh, thanks. Uh, do, do you know Where which way the went? dogs? Um, I, I and mean, and Jacob, just... Jacob sort of goes. Um, uh, it's 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 okay. It's okay, Miss Ula. Uh, I'll I'll take over. Uh, the master's oh. waiting for you. Um, okay. Just uh, um, just when you go in, the door's open. Mm -hmm. But when you go in, just say curiosity. Um, right. Okay, and and then everything will be okay. Well, um, oh, sorry, uh, ma madam. What what was your name? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, my name, my name's Saffron. Saffron McMurdy. I, I, if I hear anything, I'll, I'll reach out. Oh, please. Uh, um, uh, I mean, yes. Okay. Uh, and Jacob says, uh, uh, I, I, I'll make note of where, where she lives and, and I'll write down this address for her. If, oh. if that's what you want, Miss Ula. That's. That's that sounds reasonable. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I go inside. Yeah, and, and, I, and I get and, away from that situation <laughs> as quickly as I can. And ja Jacob escorts the uh, the girl to wherever she thinks she needs to go. So as you uh, walk into this room, uh, curiosity. Good. Uh, you're in a uh, entrance hall. It's sort of there's a. Uh, an umbrella stand and a sort of a little a little table to put your keys or what have you on a uh, coat stand i put things. my massive coat on the yep. coat stand it's been okay. tied around my waist and it's weighing heavy okay uh and and i put uh, my bow in the umbrella nice and then uh yeah there's another door that's sort of a quite ornate handle um opens and in, in, in the first room is quite a large room it's probably about 30 foot square and mm. all the walls are filled with bookshelves. Ooh. Apart from a little little gap, which has uh, a window, or t there's two windows, but the curtains are very nearly fully drawn. Um, it's just to let a bit of light in, uh, but it, the room is quite dim, and it's uh, there's very dim electric lights, sort of situ uh, sort of hanging from the ceiling and what have you. So, it's, but it's a very dim light. It's enough to read and be comfortable by, but quite a dark. And there's a, a little door um, to the left, uh, opposite on the opposite wall in the left corner. Uh, there's a little table and a chair sat by a little fireplace that's sort of surrounded by bookshelves. The smell is is just polished wood and old books. And then from from the room beyond, you just hear a, 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 a sort of uh, not a quiet voice, but a voice call out to him. Uh, I, I, I'm in here. I, I, I come in. And uh, I, I go through. As you open the door, it's a, a room that's almost the same. But walls filled with books of every colour, size. If you if you glanced over, the, the books don't seem to be in any particular order. Uh, they're sort of the subjects are mixed mashed. There's sort of books on on um, sort of. Uh, folklore next to sort of nautical uh, navigation uh, and you know um, cookery books next to uh, books on creatures of the world and things like that um, there's books on ancient history and superstitions and it, you know you, there's sort of subjects uh, books on every subject that you can sort of this is fathom. quite an impressive collection uh, and, and on uh, sat in a, a chair um, uh, looking at a book and he sort of just Puts his finger up and slams the bookshelf and goes, ah, yes, sorry, I just wanted to uh, finish the chapter. So I, I know how you feel. Um, uh, so, how do you know mums? Ah, uh, isn't that a story? 
Uh, I understand you're looking for lodgings, and, uh... I mean, I was going to look myself, but fine. Uh, we are limited in space, but, um, there is, there is some rooms upstairs that, uh, you are free to call home. But just whenever you come in, please answer the question of what killed the cat. Right. That, that, yes, I, I will, I will remember to do that. Um... Do you have like any questions? Winds, not really. Just the wind's really been taken out of my sails. I was going to do a big exploration thing, and I just got led here by your elf. Uh, forgive, forgive me, forgive me. Um, did but, did did Mum put you up to this? I'd be lying if I said it was of my own volition to bring you straight here. Mm-hmm. They are they are not worried about you, but they they are worried. About your direction, maybe? Well, I was always going to get here eventually. I yeah. just took a little bit longer on the way. Yeah. No, there's, there is nothing wrong with exploring the world. It is there to be explored. I have spent my yeah. life exploring. I, I, I feel like if I wasn't cross at Mum, I, I would get on with you splendidly. Hmm. And I am very annoyed at how excited I am. A lot of conflict at the moment. Um, I really ought to find some work. Mm. Even if I'm not paying for lodgings here, which I would rather do, I still need to get out and do things while I'm here. What kind of work would you be looking for? Entry level, really. I could point you in the direction of a few places. I mean, there's always there's plenty of bars and... Um, well, that sounds good. I I can do food, and uh, I I can do um, I mean, you know, I I might not. I I can do like some uh, arcane stuff. Are there any bars that need that sort of uh, expertise? Uh, when you say that, his eyebrow um, rise, raises, and he it's looks all toward... normal Triton stuff. It's nothing practiced. Uh, uh, and as he he sort of looked at you for the first time uh, up until now, he's just been sort of scanning through a, a book, sat down, and he looks up at you, and his, his right eye is pure white. He, he sort of stands up uh, with, the, with the use of a cane, and he, he sort of stoops slightly and sort of makes his way towards you. Arcane work. How versed are you in arcane? It's a new skill mm. that I have mostly used to go on all-nighters. Hmm. Ingenious use of the powers. Mm. Well, you know, there's there's more to life pretty, than pretty good uh, party tricks out of it. Honestly, it's mm. been quite nice. Mm. They loved it in Chase Water. They don't get I much bet, excitement I there. Bet. Yes, it's been a long time since I've been there. Mm, fond memories. Odd place to have fond memories of. It's a military base. Well, it wasn't when I was there last. Huh. Any recommendations? Any good bars? I feel like that might be a good place to start out. Well, I'm sure you've heard of Clax. I mean, who nope. hasn't heard of Clax? Oh. Again, brand new. Uh, your your mothers, they've, they've been keeping little secrets from you. I remember in our youth, the nights we would have in Clax. Mm. <laughs> oh no, no, not, not, nothing fruity. I must, uh, must. Uh, I hasten to say that we we were all friends. We all I grew mean, up together. I mean, you're not exactly either of my mother's type. So, no, you indeed, know. indeed. But yes, we often uh, adventured in our youth. Did you know that about your mothers? I mean, I don't really ask about their business. Mm. They were quite adventurous. They would travel all over looking for certain things. Mm. Doesn't sound like them. They're very much homebodies. Yes. But do you judge every book by its cover? Well, the cover's there for a reason. Ah, indeed. We all have our little covers. Clax, then. Yes, Clax is a wonderful place. I, I hear they have a, a special guest performing tonight. Um, Ooh. Yes, an uh, uh, elven lady. Uh, I am not familiar with her work, but, uh, but I've heard, uh, you know, that uh, great things about her. 
that uh, she tends to uh, uh, attract uh, the audience's attention somewhat. How yes. avant-garde, because I don't like the really artsy stuff. Oh, no, no, she's just a singer. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I, I assume just a very good one. I mean, I don't get out very much. I Been just there. have my books and my memories. I have Jacob to run and uh, get my errands for me. I'm I'm going to uh, uh, drop off some of my stuff and head to Clax then. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, your room will be upstairs, um, the second on the left. I yeah, guess. it's a nice day out, so I'll, I'll leave like my, my coat and things. I only really have the satchel bag and I prefer to keep that on me. I Very may wise. accumulate things Very during wise. my stay. I mean, it's a big house. A lot of it is empty. Thank you for having me, by the way. It is my pleasure. I know I, I can come across as... I, I'm going to go. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, you will be setting up your room and getting ready for a, a wander around the yeah. town? I, uh, I, I make, make a, a careful beeline towards this club. Okay. But first, we will go back to Idril. Find yourself around about noon, the uh, famous blooming garden uh, uh, of the city. And as you enter, there's, there's a few gardeners tending to the grounds, a few sort of day, you know, walkers. And over uh, the distance, not in the, di- uh, you know, sort of just over the over the way, sat on a bench is a, a, a portly man, um, very bright coloured clothes, sort of very reminiscent of a sort of a, a merchant or a sort of a, a, a businessman kind of uh, affair. But he has a very large brimmed hat uh, that sort of shadows his, his, his face uh, and his eyes. And um, as you, uh, well, he, he notices you, ah! Oh! He sort of waves and stands and um, moves towards you. Ah! Oh. Idril, long time no see. Do I recognise it? Uh, you don't recognise... Uh, facade the, the, the look it, you, you've not seen this person before and uh, he sort of leans to you goes uh, to your ear and goes it's Jarek ah what how are you doing old nice. bean it's been a while oh you know it's making my way struggling up here on the surface how, how, how is the hotelier life been treating you well i mean it provides its amusement it's hardly exciting no i can imagine other than today when i was uh, visited by some ruffians demanding protection money oh well well that would put excitement into anybody's day wouldn't it i assume i assume you dispatched them like the good old days not at the time I was outnumbered, oh. but I oh. shall be bringing excitement into their lives as soon oh. as that is, that is wonderful news. That, that does make me feel unusually warm inside. Hmm. Are you okay? Feeling I, I, think it's, I think it's the temperature. I'm not used to the, uh, the sun. Yes. Um, sh- sh- shall we walk? Any sort of... I, I must apologise for uh, the, the sudden meeting uh, that uh, that uh, I have put you on, but uh, there seems to be a, a, how can I say ripples or there's something going on in these lands, and they reach a bit farther than uh, than than the motherland's reach can fully grab. And being here already, it seemed only prudent to exercise your skills and maybe worm out a, a few bits of nuggets of information that you may come up against. You see, uh, our contacts uh, in the south have, well, they've, they, they've made note of uh, certain holes in the budget of uh, the country. Uh, Money's being siphoned somewhere, but not clear on what for. There seems to be, uh, I don't know, some sort of facility uh, way down in the south. Uh, I mean, what they're doing, I I cannot... I'm 
assuming your contact to me was using it as more than simple corruption. Yes. Um, there seems... I mean, to be honest, the information we're getting is is a trifle vague. Uh, I mean, it's, it's travelled through three people and uh, a long way before it gets to us, really. Um, I mean, the network is, is only as good as it can be um, from such a long stretch in foreign lands. But there's... Uh, I mean, we're of the opinion there's something secret going on. Uh, at, to what ends? Uh, as I say, I don't know, but... Um, I was just wondering if you could, uh, you know, have a, a little look round, perhaps? Uh, you know, investigate, see what you can discover. I mean, if I were to discover something useful, hmm. would this perhaps change matters for me back home? I mean, that's always on the table, isn't it, old friend? Indeed. Well, have you got anywhere, any leads on where I should begin my search? I, uh, well, when they say, if in doubt, start at the top, um... There's, uh, I mean, it's, I'm sure somebody connected to the council, maybe not a council member, but uh, a lower member, somebody or head of a department or, or subhead uh, within Kraken's Holt somewhere, maybe be able to be manoeuvred into supplying some information. I, I mean, there may be contacts in this lovely city I find myself in with its colourful foliage yes, and very... bright sky. Try not to look at me. Does, that, does, that, the salt, does the salt and the, and the air, uh, uh, does it wash off? Yes, yes mm. it does, but it does tend to linger a bit. It might take mm. a few more. Yeah, I mean, that's all I can taste. Um, yes. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I know that the the gang here, uh, propositioned me, are relatively powerful, as I can tell mm. by the fact that they have managed to perpetrate this scam quite obviously on a few places, and no one seems to have bothered arresting them for it, which tells mm. me that they are connected. So yes. they might be a place to start. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't say much for the old law system, does it? I mean. Back in the homeland, it, uh, if you got caught doing that, you'd be uh, sent to the gulags. But, uh, yes, so um, I, I, I will leave a forwarding address for you to contact uh, uh, the network. Um, should you find any information and somebody will, be, will, will collect. And uh, I think um, before this uh, disguise, for want of a better word, uh, and you have noticed that he has—he is speaking quite openly and is not trying to hide uh, this conversation. Um, uh, before this disguise wears off, um, I really—I I don't think I'm going to get another chance to visit Clax. I mean, I've read so much about the place. I mean, it'd be a shame to be so close and not go to it. So, uh, how about I treat you, old friend? Do a lovely well. evening. I do, however, have one. Oh. My advice is, all wherever you are, always be as foreign as possible. Because oh, the locals always think that foreigners are stupid. Oh yes, oh indeed. And, and he, uh, don't worry, uh, we've 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 been we've uh, been researching and uh, developing. And he pulls out this little box that's uh, sort of clipped to his belt. Um, you see, this device. To any casual listeners, we're just talking a name casual small talk. We can say, look, this fella here walking with this with this woman. Uh, 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 I'm going to say, uh, excuse me, sir. Um, can I cut your throat? And the gentleman just goes, uh, this lovely morning, isn't it? And, and carries on walking. You see, they don't know anything. Oh, that is marvelous. I wonder it's, why it's so. Okay. I know. I know. It's a. It's a. It's a. It. I must say, it is a. Uh, it is a breath of fresh air to be so openly. Uh, Hostile to people and not worry. I mean, I, earlier on, I, I told an old lady that I was going to skin her cat, and she wished me a good day. It was wonderful. 
But, uh, oh. yes. So, uh, Clax at seven? I will accompany you there. Oh, good, good. That is, and, and, and you two drift off into uh, whatever you do for the rest of the afternoon, dis- or he, you know, discussing things and talking about the good old days. If anybody else has anything they'd, else they'd like to do, Trusco will buy some sweets. Ah, good. From the market. Nice. Easy enough. You buy a nice selection bag of Great. various candies and yummies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we will fast forward to, to the evening. Um, the sun is now setting, uh, it's making its way down. Um, there's a, a bit of a queue forming outside the Clax Club. Uh, the lights. Flashing, a few bulbs are out. Dom, you're at the door. Um, yep. Watching people come in. Uh, they're all buying their tickets at the, at the little, the little booth on the little ticket booth. Uh, You're keeping an eye out for people in yeah. in in green. Yeah. Just um, in case. Drosko, uh, Vic is waiting outside in the street. <laughs> is Vic Truce wearing any green? Um, no. Good. <laughs> not that Josco would know about no, anything. No, like but he's not. And he sort of waves to you and uh, oh, oh, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I got hold of somebody. Uh, yeah, they're, they're coming along a bit later. Um, oh, but they might. With, have... with my book. Oh yeah, uh, uh, and he and he goes to his, uh, pulls out the notebook from his pocket. Is this it? That looks for it. All his random thoughts and <laughs> questions. It is, your, it is your notebook. Oh, you really are my best friend in Port yeah, Square. Yeah, I found I found some uh, some kid trying to trying to sell it to somebody. So I, I got in there. Oh, I remember you saying it was a notebook. So I just uh, took did a chance. you buy it off him? Did you buy it off him then? Uh, no, it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. I would have I would have paid you for it. That's fine. No, no, um, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, I've I've already bought the ticket, so uh, we can go straight in. Oh, wonderful! And, yeah, so so you two make your way in, Israel and your friend Garrick, uh, in in port, portly human form, make your way inside. Um, there's there's ta- uh, as you go inside, uh, and Ula. Uh, eventually, you make your way in. The, the, I mean, the tickets not are very expensive. And probably uh, old Hans has probably managed to get okay. hold of one. If, if Hans has sorted me out, I'm yeah. all good. I don't yeah, need yeah. to lie to get in. No, no, no. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> he got Jacob to go down early. Yeah. So you all make your way through the door, uh, passing the, uh, the the tall Leonin, watching everybody, keeping. Are any of them wearing green? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Unless they are wearing green. No. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> So as you enter uh, the room, it's quite a large room. There's a stage on the opposite wall with sort of, you know, worn red velvety <laughs> curtains, um, you know, the old clamshell lights along the front, a little dance floor, um, and there's and tables and chairs and booths down the sides and a big wooden bar down the right-hand side as you walk in. And there's an orc and a couple of bar ladies serving drinks and things and there's waitresses picking up drinks and giving them taking them to the tables uh, on the left there are three tables manned by half mechanical uh, figure that's sort of built into the table that's in charge of the table and charge of the games and they're, they're gambling games because this clax is also a wannabe casino uh, there's a, I'm there's gonna a go du- get a drink okay Drosko and Vic, do you, where, where, where would you like to go? Drosko say it's, it's very loud in here um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, should I mean? What? I mean, have you not been to a club before? No, not ah. like this. Ah, right. Um, sh- what should we do? What do you like to do, Vic what? Truce? Well, well, we could go and get a. a please, just Vic. Uh, we can go <laughs> a. Uh, we can go and get a drink. Uh, I mean, what, what, what do you drink? I mean, they do all sorts Ooh. here. Um, I'll I'll have what you have. Okay, he sort of takes you over to the bar and uh, orders two pints of ale, and it's sort of like a dwarven blend. It's a bit strong. Um, it sort of um, makes it makes the muscles in your cheeks tense. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit of a bite to it, but um, it's it's all right. It, I mean, it's it's a strong taste, but 
uh, reasonable strength. If it, you know, you're not flat out after a mouthful, but it's uh, <laughs> Ula, uh, the bar, a bar lady approaches. You. All right, love. What, uh, what can I get you? Not bad, thank you. Something strong and sweet, please. Oh, okay. Uh, do you do you prefer uh, ales or spirits or spirits? Something spirits. with fruit in it. Okay, okay. Uh, we've got this lovely um, blackberry, uh, sort of meady kind of thing. I'm sold. Brilliant. Okay, okay. Perfect. Uh, glass. Uh, how much? Uh, shot. Double. Glass. Yeah. Okay. Mixed okay. with something. Oh, uh, we've got still water, sparkling water, lemon water. Um, oh, lemon water. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Okay. And she pours it, it's, it's some uh, out of a jug. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, so sorry, but do you do food? I've not eaten in a bath. Uh, yes, I think the chef um, is still serving. Oh, uh, thank goodness. Uh, and, and then she sort of there's like a little hatch, that, and, and you can see a, a kitchen in sort of beyond, and uh, she shouts, "Oi, dang Jack!" And then you just hear. It, <laughs> What food you got on? It's just incoherent mumbling, shouting, very aggressive. Uh, and she goes, "Oh!" And she comes back. And goes, all right, all right, all right. Goes, uh, yeah, um, he can. He can do. Uh, uh, what, what do you fancy? He can do a sandwich, or he's got some uh, soups, or uh, um, he's got a, a lovely salady uh, thing. I mean, do you have any preferences? Uh, uh, things you don't this- want. Uh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Is key. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, he's but got yeah, a, something carby would be great. Just okay. Whatever uh, he's feeling, he, he it sounds a, it, intense. Yeah. Yes, he is a very intense person. Uh, and she comes back and she goes, uh, "Some of that." Yes, that. And then uh, he comes back uh, with a the bowl. There's lots of swearing in between. And then and she sort of slams the door in his face. She comes back with a, a nice uh, sort of bowl of uh, uh, like a broth, broth thing with a uh, sort of like a. a uh, um, like a dumpling in it, um, and it, it looks very tasty. It's got some vegetables in it, and um, oh, wonderful! I it, uh, go and find a seat somewhere to have my drink and my uh, seat. This is great. Yeah, any any interesting people in the bar? Anyone that well, there's, looks, there's, any there's tridents? A, uh, no, you can't see any tridents, but there is a um, a, a fire genasi stood uh, two two uh, places down from you. Ah. He's shouting very loudly. What's what's he saying? What's <laughs> he's just like I don't really like this drink. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing over there with that dice? That looks funny. I, I go over to this guy. I hear I hear his drink comment. <laughs> you know you know you can just is it is it a bad drink? Yes. You can just ask. Excuse me. I shout. To yeah, a bar, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, say, you get the same girl. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. Is your drink okay? This fellow's. This fellow's um, made a, a a mistake with his drink. He wants oh. something else. Oh, sorry. Uh, what, what did you ask for? Did 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 you get the wrong drink? No, uh, Vic Truce got it for me. Okay. Uh, um. What what did I you don't want? like it though. Sorry. What That's all right, my love. Like? Yeah. Um, it turns to Ulo. What? What are you? What are you drinking? Okay, get him one of mine. Uh, okay, and and she goes and pours him uh, his, uh, sort of a small glass, sort of tumbler of um, this sort of uh, sort of quite thick, not sort of um, dark purple um, liquid. It smells very fruity, very sort of blackberry. Would you like a sweet? He asks Ula. Uh, no, thank you. I, I don't take food from strangers. Oh. I tried a sweet from Vic Truce. It was very nice. Ah. Thank you for helping me with my drink. My name's Drosco de Marle. Hello, Drosco de Marle. Um, do you want ice in your drink? They've not put ice in your drink. Uh, I don't find that ice really makes much of a difference. Huh. A lot of ice? Would that make a difference? It'd make it very hard to drink the drink, I think. Ever have that when you're drinking a drink and there's lots of ice in it? 
I am. Um, He's still shouting like in your face because it's so loud to him. I I just sort of nod and go, mm hmm. And U Ula realizes the terrible mistake she's made, instigating a conversation with this man. Um, <laughs> as you, as you're having this conversation, um, Idril, you've made a you've sat at a table now with um, Jarek and and a, a bar ladies uh, or a waitress has come over and said. Um, all right, my loves. Um, what, 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 what do you want? What drinks do you, would you like? Oh, um, I just have a wine, please. Uh, uh, red or white? Red. Okay, and 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 you, sir? And, and Jarek says, "Oh, uh, hmm. Yes, I'll have the same. I mean, when it, when when in Squen." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and and he's sort of he's, he's sort of wait, waiting for the sort of he's, he's, he's clearly I can see the very pleased. He's very pleased that he's managed to break it and make a joke, even if it is a quite a bad one. That's going in my notes. It, 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 it smiles, but the smile is only extended to his mouth. The, the rest of his face is not There's no, no feeling in it at all. Yeah, yes. Uh, and and the barmaid sort of goes, "All right, okay." And then she sort of goes off and then uh, comes back a few moments later with the. Uh, um, a, a bottle and sort of holds it to you. Uh, is this one, sir? I mean, is this one okay? Okay. And then uh, she just, and thinking she's going to sort of put it, in, you know, taste. She just plonks it down with two glasses. And goes right, and, uh, <laughs> and walks off. <laughs> Solomon, as you're stood at the door, uh, you've been given. You've got the post of uh, inside the, the main room, so you're mm -hmm. you're watching everybody. Big Baz is on front door, and you're on <laughs> in duty, if you like. Um, we keep the big, big guy outside yes, for intimidation yes. purposes. And you're sort of watching everybody, seeing a, a fire genasi at the bar, look rather uncomfortable, and a, and a, and a, and a young Triton uh, lady sort mm -hmm. of trying to have a conversation, <laughs> and it's looking very awkward. Um, and, uh, yeah. and uh, yeah, there's people playing games and talking amongst themselves and things like that. And then the door... That you're stood by suddenly bursts open. Uh, you're you're positioned far enough away, you know, to the side mm. door. It doesn't smack me in the face. Indeed. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, TPK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This Not large, yeah, this large, broad-chested fella uh, with a big handlebar moustache, a uh, little bowler hat, and a, a sort of a suit, bright green tie, comes in and uh, so he comes in acting like he owns the place. And he's got a little entourage of about five people. All, all, uh, we'll keep a, we're keeping a close yeah, eye on yeah, it. Yeah. And they've all got a green item, whether it's like a, a, a handkerchief in their pocket or, or like a, a neckerchief or a tie or something, like mm. a little jacket. Mm. There is an item of clothing on them that is a sort of a brightish green. And they come in and, and he sort of like stands there with his arms open. Sort of, ah, what a full room to entertain me. And he sort of walks over and... Um, he sort of looks over to you, Solomon, and gives you a wink, and sort of, he's acting like he owns the place, effectively. It's just a deadpan stare yeah. back at him, just like... Move, he moves to a table um, just behind yours, um, Idril, and uh, there's there's a, a couple of people sat there, sort of a couple of lads, sort of having a drink or whatever, and, he just, and um, this big fella just sort of goes, clicks his fingers, and his lackeys sort of just basically grab their shirt collars and sort of... Just lift him up, and and so he and he sits down, and his his lackeys join him. And he sat there. And, and, uh, uh, am I able to surmise that these people are related to the same group? Uh, uh, I'd say make a perception roll, but you are along the right lines here. So I would say that at that point, having watched them, I would. Uh, um, Solomon's going to approach. Seventeen. Yeah, you, you you can. Yeah, it's a similar shade of green. you sort of. I would. I would also. I would advise Jarek. So he doesn't know this area that these people are a member of a dangerous gang. Uh, he, oh, he instantly goes, turns around and looks at them. He goes, "What these guys? <laughs> that's what that's what they call hoodlums." Gosh. Do I notice the rude removal of those? Uh, boys yeah, in I mean, chairs? they didn't they didn't hide the fact they're they're um, no. they're um. And as of the people that have done that, have they ordered drinks? Have they got drinks? Um. What the the his entourage or what have you? Yeah, the people that did the bad thing. Do they yeah, have yeah. drinks? Uh, no, but they will do. They sort of call over the nearest 
I am lady. watching for the second they have drinks. Oh, okay. I was going to say, when, when they call over the waitress, like say, when, when she kind of notices them, I'm going to basically just kind of give her a signal, just kind of wait a second, mm. and then head over to them first. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, so, so the big she... guy is sort of sat there, sort of looking at the stage, in, 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 uh, intently waiting for the show. Excuse me, fellas. I think there was a, a group of people set here already. Uh, and set you up in a booth over there, if you don't mind. No, no, thank you. Uh, we're quite happy here. Afraid I have to insist. Well, I'm afraid I have to insist that we're sat here. Thank you. I don't, I don't want to escalate things because uh, I, well I don't want to ruin anybody's. I don't want to ruin anybody's night, but uh, well, you won't. Afraid in, I'm going to have to insist. <sighs> As the, then um, the curtains come up and, and he sort of goes, oh, uh, uh, away with you, the show's on now. The announcer comes on stage and goes, uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, 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 of Port Squen, uh, it is our esteemed pleasure of Mr. Arthur Clack to, 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 to have this performer on tonight. Um, she, she's travelled uh, afar to be with us tonight and uh, I, I hope you in, enjoy the show. Uh, and he sort of is waffling on a bit, and, the, uh, uh, and then player who's on the table just starts playing sort of the introduction of the song. Oh, uh, uh, and yes, uh, without th further ado, um, I, I give you Misty Reed, and, it, and he sort of steps aside, and then the spotlight comes on this woman. And uh, if you can imagine, uh, like Jessica Rabbit, but instead of red, it's black. So, so her hair is jet black. Her dress is sparkly black. Um, and she's she's got this big microphone in front of her, and she starts singing this song. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful song. Every, it's, you know, so it's the, the harmonies and 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 the words. They sort of tend to uh, touch everybody, uh, send goose pimples up your arm or whatever. <clears throat> um, and she's sort of moving her hands as she's singing, and and and, and player of keys is sort of tinkling away on the ivories very slightly, not not to overshadow. Her, her voice, but just to sort of compliment, and it's and it's a really good performance, and everybody, and and it's and it just ca encapsulates everybody, even the big fella, uh, and his entourage just pause for her, and they're just sort of watching everybody, and the room sort of goes slightly quiet while everybody's watching uh, this woman, and she sings her song, and everybody uh, as she finishes a big finish, yeah, everybody claps, and it's light, and you know, sort of you feel warm inside for the for the, for those that are able to. <laughs> feel warm inside. Uh, yeah, for, to feel it, yes. Um, <laughs> the, the room gets back to its hustle and bustle and loudness and things as she sort of saunters off the stage. Drosko, you notice that uh, the big fella, uh, the table, uh, calls over Vic and Vic sort of goes over there and then they're sort of, they're talking to about something, you know, you know talking and they both look over at you in your direction. And, um, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and, and the big fella laughs, <laughs> and then he sort of he gets up out of his chair, and the two of them walk over to you at the bar. The big fella sort of leans, he sort of leans on the bar next to you, uh, with Vic opposite uh, the entourage, sort of semi-circling around you, sort of thing. Uh, it's quite an intimidating sort of situation, but you've got Vic by your side. You've got a friend, and he sort of taps you on the shoulder, clap, you know, sort of like pats you on the shoulder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Avery here, uh, uh, he says he, he should be able to, uh, you know, get, get some sort of form of passage to uh, to Kraken's Holt or wherever you need to go. He just goes, uh, yeah, if you've got the uh, the money. Um, how much money do I need? Well, it's quite a long way, isn't it? Hey, lads. And they all sort of go, <laughs> Ooh. I mean, it's... Uh, Guess you don't want uh, any questions asked or anything like that, eh? Uh, um. I mean, you well, trying to hide from somebody, or? No. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll cut you a deal. Two thousand gold pieces. Drosko looks crestfallen. I don't have that much gold. Oh, that is a shame. Um. So, are you telling me I came all the way over here? For nothing. Well, there was that lovely song. Yeah, that was it's nice. Rubbish. 
But I was brought here under the pretense that I would be making some money. I have four gold. They, they all burst out laughing. Uh, four gold? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do. How about we take you round the back and kick the crap out of you? Ah, uh, I would not like to do that. Thank you. Come and on, he goes to leave. Let a couple of the lackeys grab him, and Vic doesn't quite know what to do. Can I um, see this happening? You can. You can all see this happening. Yeah. They're, not, they're not hiding. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm moving I'm straight just, in. As, as, <laughs> as soon as this guy came over, because I'm like sat on yeah, the yeah, bar. Yeah, like, you, yeah, yeah. Guys, you're just, I'm going to uh, accidentally spill my drink behind where this big guy stood. Okay, what, on him or...? No, just behind him, oh. like like where the only way out is like you have to walk on the spilled drink. Okay. He, he sort of goes, oh, what you, what you drink, love? Oh, sorry. Vic. Um, and Vic sort of starts backing away and, and says... Uh, uh, free, I freeze the water. Oh, the okay. second he starts moving, freeze the water and he, I want him to slip. Okay. Well, well uh, Vic, his friend, uh, uh, Drosko's uh, saviour, uh, steps back, uh, starts yes, stepping yeah. back yeah, and, and says, uh, sorry, mate. We've all got debts, and he just runs. And, and, yeah, so, so uh, yeah, and then um, Avery steps back into your slippy, slidey puddle. It's only somatic, so I can do it really yeah. quietly. Yeah, and it's loud, so nobody would hear you. I think he, he what's he need? Does he need to make some a roll or anything? Um, or he just... I, I mean, it's. I froze it. He's he stepped on frozen uh, a, a frozen patch of oh, right. puddle. Okay. Um, I, there's no oh, DC no, no, no. to this. Uh, no, that's fine. My that's spell fine. save is a thirteen. If you want to use that. Okay. Well, he 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 slips, but he manages to save himself on the bar. He puts a big hand and manages to stop quite himself falling prone. But he's sort of he's sort of in between being prone and and stood up. If you like, he's sort of prop. He's holding. The, and, and, and the rest of his lackeys are, are, are grabbing um, Drosko and about to, um, they're just starting to drag yeah. Drosko around. Go on, I'll go have on. My, make my way over there um, at this point. Yeah, I told you fellas already. Let the men go and leave. And Avery sort of trying to stand up, but still struggling on this slippy thing. He can't get a foot. And he goes, now listen here, kitty cat. It's none of your business. I think you're fine, it is. And I'm going to hit him. Okay, uh, let's all roll for initiative. <laughs> Oh no, can I have used my um, cleric domain oh, thing to give myself so advantage bad. on this? Yeah, well, you, you're expecting it. Not so. as bad as mine. <laughs> that okay. okay? Can I use my cleric thing? Uh, yeah. It's a natural 20, but minus 2 for 18. <laughs> okay. So, what else has everybody else got? Does that make sense? 15. Okay. Oh, oh. I got a 7. Uh, natural one plus one makes two. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just goes, okay. It's all a bit new I to Josh. I feel better about my seven. Yeah. <laughs> See, I need my advantage <laughs> thing because I have minus two. I have terrible decks. <laughs> I will fail so uh, many saves. Terrible dice. <laughs> I right. have none of my weapons. I left everything at the house. That's <laughs> Yes, your puddles. Why you always <laughs> keep a crowbar on your person. Right, so, he was uh, not worldly okay. enough for that. <laughs> you haven't lived in this kind of terrible place long enough. <laughs> Seven. Right, so uh, I think I think eighteen is uh, Solomon. You're first. Oh, then I will continue with the plan, and I'm gonna hit him. So would I have my um, cro uh, crowbar on me, probably? Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, there's, there's a, a... I mean, you can always improvise with something. There's a bar full of stuff, and yeah, I'll take. I'll I'll go with the the bar thing then, and then if there's a, um, I assume there's like a bottle, I'll just kind of grab yeah, that yeah. and just clunk in with it. It's my glass. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> take your <laughs> slam uh, it on okay. his head. Okay, uh, uh, roll to hit, I suppose. Yep. With an improvised weapon. Ooh, um, that's so what I'm just, adding to this then. Sorry, it's just a strength, I'd imagine. Um, and then that's uh, an 18 to hit. Uh, who are you hitting, sorry? Uh, the big guy. Yeah, you're, you're hitting Avery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a D4, isn't it, for improvised? Yes. Again, is it add anything again or just straight? Uh, you can add your uh, strength if you're hitting it. Uh, six. 
six damage. Okay. <laughs> Break a bottle on his face. Okay. Uh... And then um, once done that, I, I'll just say, I asked you nicely, now leave. One of the bandits uh, will try and pull Drosko. So he will make uh, some sort of strength, <laughs> contested strength. I assume you're resisting, Drosko. Yes. Oh, he, he got a seven. Mm, I got a six. Oh, so, so, yeah, so he's, he's trying to move you away ah. towards the door. He's, he's grabbed you by the sort of scruff. He's uh, sort of struggling with you cause it, to pull you because it, it was a close roll. Um, that's his go. So uh, uh, next it is Idril. Uh, uh, Jar- Jarek, you notice, is ju- he's just sat back and crossed his arms and is watching. Because Idril's very tempted to do the same thing. Um, <laughs> he would like to... Has the big guy acted yet? No, he hasn't. He would like to sneak up on him. Okay. Because I believe if I attack someone who's not acted, yes. I get a uh, advantage against them. You do. Because I'm just a chef. That's, that's all That's there is. right. <laughs> A simple hotel. A chef. Yep. <laughs> this Jeffy is so versatile, guys. <laughs> I don't know why more people don't take it. You've watched <laughs> Under Siege yeah. with Steven Seagal. Exactly. <laughs> so you've. So that's, have we? Um, <laughs> yes. I have. Yes, I have. That's two sixteens. <laughs> so that's twenty-two to hit. Yes. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, would I get sneak attack damage as well? Uh, yes, because you had advantage. Okay. And it's a surprise attack, so I think you get it automatic, if I remember correctly. It's a, it's an automatic crit, isn't it? Because it's if you're an assassin. Oh, is it? I think okay. so. He's not an assassin, it? he's a chef. Indeed. Cough, but... if you're a no, chef, no, cough. Cough, cough. <laughs> so an automatic crit. Okay, so I will... Uh... I'm sure no. that's wrong, but yeah, I'm going with it. So is it 2d8? Uh, yes, yes, you just roll your damage twice. Because I've got sneak attack, that's 2d6. Mm-hmm. That's also doubled. That's 32. Oof! <laughs> so he, he, basically, he, this drow comes up behind this guy. He seems to be walking with this really fancy looking cane, you know, the kind of thing that in 1920s people had to fashion, etc. Yeah, yeah. And he just pulls this massive sword out of it and slashes this guy. Nice. So. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you stick him you stick him with this thing and he screams out in pain and he is looking pretty rough. Uh, he's not looking good. The blood is sort of seeping out onto his clothes and I've got a bonus action as well. Yes, of course you have. And I can do two weapon fighters. I've got a dagger as well. Yes. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah. Upon upon the um, release of the sword, that you would hear from the back, Oh, God damn it! (laughs) So that's a 17 to hit. Yep. That's another six damage. Lovely. Oof. He's not looking good. He, uh, yeah, he he, uh, he he sort of shouts, "Oh, get him!" Oh, oh. Uh, and it is uh, number four, who is called Pete. Pete, um, uh, Pete is is a little bit worried because he's just seen his uh, his boss who uh, viciously um, injured. He will pick up a bottle and uh, throw it at Idril. And he rolled a five, so he didn't hit. It just, just smashes uh, in the distance. It just flies past your head. The next one, um, he pulls out a sword, lunges at you. Me? Yes, because you've just yeah. almost killed the, the boss. Uh, oh, that's a six. He gets it stuck in the... in the. In, he sort of lunges, but gets the, the end of his sword just stuck in the bar side. Uh, what's your dex, Ula? I've got a plus three. All right, so you you go next then. Cool. Um, I don't really want to be in a bar fight. Um, 
but you're in it now. Um, I, I, the, a guy is just like grabbed what remained of my drink and slammed it into this guy's head. Sauce. Sauce. Um, which was a lot. So I we, am uh, going to. Welcome to the city. So, <laughs> yeah. For my. Um, I, Ula is basically going to panic and can as vaguely ascertain that she doesn't want this fire genasi to be kidnapped. So she is going to, with her action, start mm -hmm. using some verbal and somatic components, but try okay. and do it as subtly as she can. Okay. And the, um, like, how big is this room? Uh, it, it's pretty big. It's uh, pretty uh, big. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's it feels like like if we're all like crowded around a bar, are we? Is everyone roughly within twenty feet of me? Yes. Cool. In the yeah. sort of like twenty foot square where this fight is happening, the floor is going to suddenly become um, like very wet and like uh, like there's going to be like sh it feels like shallow water and small um, seaweeds are going to come up through the floorboards and wrap around everyone's uh, ankles. Nice. Um, so everyone in that square is going to have to make a strength check okay. as I entangle them. Okay. And that's allies as well. Everybody's got to make a strength check if you're stood up in the cool. space. Is it a check or a save, did you say? Uh, save, sorry. So, mm, that's three check. for Drosko. That's a fail. You're... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're oh, 21. What a shame. That's 21 a, succeeds. That's a five for Idril. That's a fail. Uh, it's it's a 13 to succeed. And essentially, <laughs> if you fail, uh, you are restrained. Um, you can use your action to make a strength check against a 13 to free yourself. Uh, and also, the entire area is difficult terrain, so movement is halved. Okay, well, nice. So it nice. should slow nice. things down. Mm. Uh, and with my bonus action, um, uh, I will also try and be very subtle and not look at the fight while this is happening. Um, but I see the guy that's kidnapping the fire genasi and I will summon uh, a tentacle of the deep, which manifests as a, a giant like column of water that's going to slam into this guy Okay. Uh, with my bonus action. Uh, so I'm going to roll to hit. <laughs> okay. Uh... That is 11 to hit. Uh, I think you probably... <coughs> oh, not quite. Oh, never mind. Uh, he just gets really wet, but it yes. doesn't do anything. And the <laughs> column of water sort of stays like shimmering in yes. the club lighting. Uh, and the I wet sort of keep my head down while I'm sat in the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Tommy, could you just make a sleight of hand check just to see how well I you hide can. all these things? Sleight of hand, okay. I mean, uh, I mean, it's a lot going on, so it's not too difficult. But... I have a good passive uh, perception. Yeah. Okay, it was cocked three times, but then the second it wasn't, it was a 21. Oh, wow, well, yeah. So yeah. all everybody apart from those that are sort of in your, well, that might be looking in your direction. Um, yeah, no, nobody really saw that. You, you hit that well. They're just suddenly surprised that a load of water suddenly came out of the floor and wondering what's going on. Some of it Damn pipes! Slammed yeah. into a guy. Yeah. So, uh, a couple of the bandits are looking mighty confused and scared that there's something weird going on. Cool, cool, cool. In this neighbourhood. Uh, number one is going to... Uh, he is restrained. They all got restrained, by the way. Hell yeah. Um, so what does he need to do to try and get out? Because he's... It's a strength oh. check, a strength check of 13. Oh. So no longer a save if you so, mess yeah. up the first time. Okay. No, it, yeah, it's just a straight roll because he has nothing. Oh, he got an eight. So he's fighting That's with his... That's a fail, He's baby. fighting with some uh, seaweed around his feet. Uh, that's him. Oh, uh, uh, now it's the big fella's go. Uh, he oh, no. He will use some of his movement to get stand up properly and uh, it's got to be all of his movement to stand up properly because of the difficult terrain I'm yes afraid. that's true that mm. is true thank you very much so that is all his movement he's not As... going anywhere no. baby battlefield and... control indeed nice. and he will turn around well i can't remember uh he will mm. bring it on yeah he I mean, where are you, Solomon, in all this? Are you I'm in... probably right next to him because I just clocked him with a bottle. 
Yes. Okay. So uh, yeah, he'll have a sw he'll uh, pull out a, a, a large blade, sort of, sort of like a. And why is the ogre man not checking people? <laughs> <laughs> Frisk them at the door. Oh. This guy's inside a walking stick. Yeah. Exactly. Yours is understandable. Guys just do. Guys just being lazy. Yeah. That Frisk them at the door. Meaty hands can't tell the difference between a bone and a yeah, weapon. That's right, yeah. He's just going there like. Boom, boom. Go on. Yeah, he, yeah. He's probably He's knocking people out. Twenty-two. Oh, well hit. Yeah, uh, it's not a huge amount of damage. Uh, ooh, nine. It's quite a lot of damage. But yeah, no. yeah, actually, yeah. So it's not a lot of damage. Rolled maximum. It's not a lot of damage. It's yeah, just a third uh, of your hit points. Yeah, second attack. Second attack misses, and then just. Um, his little wrist, he has a little wrist blade that shoots out a little knife and he's got a blade in his, in his uh, oh, little okay. dagger. little You know, just a oh, tiny no. little three-inch thing. Uh, oh, that, that missed. Rest. That, that missed. Mm -hmm. uh, he got five for that one, so he, he got too cocky with his hidden blade yeah, and, 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 and missed it. Just kind of it aside. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's him. And Drosko. Drosko is going to produce a flame out of his hand as is his racial right to do. And I take it you're not hiding this? Well, no. No, no that's fine. I'm not, he's I'm, he's I'm not pretty much that. got flame hair, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, and try and set this guy's clothes on fire to get him to let go. <laughs> okay. I said no! <laughs> Aww. No means no. Indeed. 22 to hit. Yes. Okay, and I can do a D8 plus two damage Ooh. because um, of other yeah, stuff. Uh, six damage. Six. Ooh. As I produce a flame in my hand and just like yeah. okay. expose it to the guy's clothes. As a reaction, I'll say just for because uh, you set him on fire, uh, he will let go of you straight away. Okay. I'm still held to the floor by my feet, but he's yeah, like, yeah, but he's sort of he's more concerned with his clothes on fire than you now. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that you done? Yep. Okay. Right, back to the top. Mr. Solomon. Cool. So after I've been like stabbed um with with the old blade that mm -hmm. apparently everyone's got knives <laughs> here. <laughs> some some pockets. nonsense is happening. Solomon's gonna he's gonna try and do a thing, but he's probably not gonna work. So he's gonna go in with with a punch on the guy, but as he's doing it, he's going to basically as it kind of connects, he's gonna cast inflict wounds. Woo! Nice. Nice at um second level. Big hit. So second level slots. Ugh. Jealous. Yeah boy. Oh, that's going to hit. Um, 19 plus 6, yeah, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big hit. Oh, if only I had... The, uh, 17... 22... Ooh. 26. Yeah. Yeah, 26. So like I say, he kind of just punches, tries to get it kind of under the clothes to hide some of the kind of necrotic mm -hmm. force okay. on this guy. And the eroding of his, um, I assume, clothes and yeah. person. Yeah. So um, as he swung at you with his blade, he sort of left himself open. And you've managed to get a fist um, under his jacket, as you say. Uh, and connect. Kind of get him in the ribs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you get a good hit in. You feel solid impact. You cast your, uh, your magic. Uh, and he sort of goes... <laughs> and falls down. And is, is, is just limp on the floor. At that point, then... Uh, Solomon will go. You got one chance. Leave now. Um, and then I'll they, they all sort of look at you and then look at their feet. One of them goes, uh, um, uh, "Sorry, uh, we can't move." Oh yeah, they've been yeah they've been tangled. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, number Top five. Number five is sort of. Uh, uh, Cracking the out. knuckles. Yeah. Uh, uh. He's, he's sort of panic uh, strength. 
Oh, no, that's not good. He, he, he's scrabbling. <laughs> he's, they're scrabbling. <laughs> These uh, guys suck. Yeah, they aren't very good. Yeah, the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. the Idril is next. Uh, would I have to break out of the... If I'm restrained, would I have to break out in order to attack anybody? Uh, no. That's not is how there, the Is there anybody works. close enough to me to attack anybody? Uh, yeah, I expect so. They, they would have been in uh, a few feet of you. Okay. I'm going to hit somebody else. Okay. Did you want me to roll a um, sleight of hand for the um, um, thing before? Um, is, there, is there any... Uh, semantic... There is both verbal and semantic components to this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, mm. uh, yeah. If you could do just to keep um, <laughs> every, everybody uh, on the same. This can't be real bad. I'm gonna copy and paste the restrained <laughs> stuff into the chat for everyone. Okay. Oh, it's good. What would you get? Uh, it, it's a one, but it's wow. not natural because I have minus two, <laughs> so I roll a three. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's, so that's real good. Yeah, yeah the pi- everybody sees it. They they saw you saying something, and whatever the component is, sort of in the other hand, some something ha- happened with the other hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. But um, grasp. Of, oh yeah, the other bit I forgot that. Um, what's it? Solomon has a kind of um, metal crow skull uh, necklace thing. So yeah, I'll kind of grab, grab that, and then after that, punch yeah. the guy with the same hand. But, uh, can, the... can Ula so... roll something to clock this as magic? Uh, like, yes, definitely. Yes, you can either make uh, an Arcana roll or um, uh, a Perception roll, whichever cool. one you prefer. Don't worry, you got to beat a uh, one. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you that saw this. You, you clocked exactly what happened there. Uh, uh, Ula's you, having you, a good day. You, you've read, you've read plenty. <laughs> Um, you you sort of you might not be familiar with the exact magic, but you can spot one when you see it. And also, um, uh, the, the the flamey man with his flamey hands. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it he wasn't be, attempting to hide that. He could that's, have had he could have had obvious. sort of like a light or something in his hand. I mean, that's what some of the people in the in the theatre that are running around panicked now, uh, trying to get out, um, right. uh, are probably wondering. Gonna... I'm going to try and hit one of these guys, but because I'm restrained, I have disadvantage, then try. Uh, uh, they, they're also restrained, so straight roll. Yeah, oh, okay. correct. Okay. Uh, restrained will... is good, gang. Mm. Restrained's fun. Uh, that is a... What's that? That is a 20 to hit. Yes, you still hit him, yeah. Okay. Eight. Plus four. And do I still get sneak attack? Is, is there I'm just trying to think. Like I said, we would probably be in. Yeah. yeah, you're. It's it's somebody within five feet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got plenty of allies around you. Yeah, you can have sneak attack. He's distracted enough by his feet being stuck to the ground. Okay, that's Checking. that's thirteen damage. Oh yeah, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there anyone else near me that I could use my two weapon fighting attack? Uh, yeah, yeah, there'll be a, another one. They're all sort of stuck in a big group, really. They, they didn't spread out very much. 18 to hit? Yes. Well, I just rolled an 18. Okay, so that's a D4. And I don't add anything to this, do I? Uh, no. No. Straight D4. That's one. Well, that's better than nothing. Okay. That's Isn't you. this it's exhilarating? Uh, the one you just hit sort of goes, oh, no. Um, <laughs> and he will make a strength. What has he got to beat to get strength? 13. Oh, he got 16. He manages to break his feet out. Uh, cool. And he will double dash out of there. Um, oh, he that's his uh, action to do that. So he might oh, no. Have... Oh, no. He just runs as far and as he can. It is difficult terrain, so his movement oh, is Well, he gets a little bit away. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'll say um, all three of you could probably have an opportunity attack because he'd probably have to pass through you. Sure, let's go for it. Yeah, but uh, 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 I will have disadvantage on this because he's not restrained anymore. Y- yes. Mm-hmm. And oh, I still haven't pulled out my cr- my crowbar, so this would just be a punch, wouldn't it, for me? 
Yes. 14 um, is my lowest. Does that hit? Yes. Uh, 15. Yeah. You both hit. 12 damage. Oh, he's dead. Wan. <laughs> Wan damage. Eh. <laughs> but d does Solly think that? Uh, he, does Solomon think that he made the kill? <laughs> totally does. <laughs> totally. Not just unconscious, but yeah. did it. He was already going down, but you just hit him at the back of the head as he was going. Down. Yeah, he was already like tripped up and yeah. shit. Like, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Yep, yep. I'm Final in charge. Yeah. Yep. Blow. Totally. Yep. Yep. Uh, Definitely in charge. Uh, let's say that's him dead. How many have we got dead here? Many. Definitely two. Three, yeah, two are gone. dead, yeah. Um, Main okay. guy and this other guy. Uh, no, I killed I killed one as well. Yeah, there's oh, two well, two three. dead. One's nearly dead. The, there's two goons dead and the big guy's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. And two are, aren't really hit. Two are nearly... Uh, well, there's three left, effectively. One's looking nice. really rough. And it's your go next, Ula. Me next. Uh, yeah. Cool. I will. Um, this looks like it's calming down and that they want to flee, but I, th they're, they're criminals, so they should be arrested and stay here. So I'm going to, as non-lethally as I can, mm -hmm. slam the giant column of water into one of the guys that looks like he's going to try and flee. Okay. Um, and that's my bonus action. And, and that is that's seven or a one. That's a nat one. So I really miss and just get him soaked. Um, and then with my action, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do a, I'll do something. Should I do something subtle? Because I don't have to do anything to control the water column, but anything else requires components and I don't really want to. Um, yeah, screw it. I will uh, put my hand on the stool that I'm still sat on yeah. and... A, a little uh, thing of seaweed will like rocket down the stool and shoot up to one of the guys um, like mid sections and it's nice. going to attempt to get him yes. and that is a 20 to hit yes that is hits easily yes. cool uh, he is going to take two points of piercing damage and he is dragged 10 feet closer to me oh okay so, uh, two points of damage did you say yep just a little bit of piercing right. damage right. just a little yeah. jabby uh, just a little, just, little jab, and he just, is yanked. Okay, just as a side note, um, I know you're trying to hide your things, but most of the clientele are trying to get out, really, through one of the doors. They're not really paying you that much, not close enough attention to see anything. It's only you amongst yourselves and that are trying to hide it from each other, if you like. Uh, am I aware of the magic going on? Um, yeah. uh, I'll roll sleight of hand for that one as well, yeah. shall I? I mean, you missed the first one, but but mm. you've seen you've seen Drosko doing stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say that's, that's fairly obvious. <laughs> new spell, new check. I roll a twenty on my sleight of hand for that one. Seventeen plus three. That beats I, my passive. Yeah. I rolled. I, oh, is it passive? Well, unless you're. Uh, I'd say that what's well, it? Solomon's a bit kind of distracted now, yeah. so I'd say that Solomon's just yeah. doing a passive it's real, it's real. one. So. You're, you're a, bit, uh, a bit more of a pro in. Um, Sort of maybe situations like this. I'll, I'll let you roll up uh, an active, just because. Well, in that case, I rolled twenty-three. Ooh. You, so, yeah, you, you notice uh, the Triton girl at the bar uh, do some verbal and somatic components and like grab a little bit of coral on her hip, uh, <laughs> and that's what makes that man get yanked closer to the ground. Just out of interest, what's everyone's perception modifier? Uh, uh, my perception's a plus, plus three. <laughs> so I have a plus six and I'm the only guy who's not noticed. <laughs> I, 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 Zero. I just rolled a 19 and I've got a plus four. I just rolled really well. Not <laughs> you're, you're... The most perceptive Damn. man in the room yeah. has noticed nothing. But, but, but Solomon's feeling really good about himself because he just took down one of these Seven great there. Mm -hmm. um, right, so uh, where were we? Uh, uh, it's him. His go. He will try and escape. His, uh, he got a 19. Uh, that's it so yeah, he's so used he, his action and now it's half yeah, movement <laughs> yeah he will move a few feet away um, looking very scared towards the door trying to trying to get to the crowd to disappear into but he's nowhere near there yet the difficult terrain manifests as like uh 
knee height shallow water so it's just like really silly walking trying to get out of it <laughs> yeah this was like oh yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> That weird uh, knees up run you do at the uh, at the beach to come out yeah. of the sea, like, yeah, yeah, so you don't fall over. <laughs> Josko, what, what is your take on this situation? Josko's not taken aback by anything that he's seen as of yet, particularly, and he's kind of grateful. <laughs> he's looking at these other people in the room with him who've started this big fight, really wide eyes, kind of nodding at them. <laughs> The one that had grabbed me, he's on fire. is that still... He's still on fire. Well, he doesn't stay on fire. He just well, no, but he's, the... he's, he's sort of behind you, sort of looking a bit sort of uh, scared at you. Okay, I'm in knee deep smoking. water, but I will produce flame again in my hand, mm -hmm. but this time not throw it or anything, and attempt to intimidate... As intimidating as he can be. What, uh, this fella? Yes, with the flame yeah, I, in my hand. I, I would say, because you've already set him on fire, you can have advantage on that. Because okay. he's already, <laughs> you've already scared the hell out of him, setting him on fire okay. out of nothing. That's 18 to intimidate him. Yeah, yeah. So just a flame and ready, like, looking like he's ready to, like, throw it at him, but he's not throwing it yet. Yeah. He's sort of cowering a bit. Sort of, ah! Next time... Don't grab people. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of starts crying. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a little pee coming out. I'm scared him quite so a bit. Water, you <laughs> yeah, I know you wouldn't know, but yeah, it's maybe, maybe. It's back to Solomon at the top. Does everyone seem to be um, winding down and trying to run away? Uh, yeah, well, josco has got some guy cowering um, in the corner. Another guy's making it for the door. I think there's two guys making them bus ping. Oh, how many? Yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, oh, no. One's been dragged closer to Ula. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. There's, there's a guy that's uh, been, like, mostly wrapped with seaweed um, who is closer to me than he was earlier. Cool. Um, if there's another one near me, I'm going to try and grab him so I can get some information later. Okay. There's Yeah. You're probably in arms of each of... The one who's making it for the door. Cool, I'll grab that one. Okay. Strength contest. Strength check. Yeah. Um, that is 16. Oh, oh you got a two. So, yeah. <laughs> Catch kind of a grab by the collar. Nope. Yeah. You wait your ass there. Yeah. It's, uh... The last one. I think he's still restrained. No, he's still restrained. He's still frantically grabbing at his feet. And then it's Idril's turn. The one who's still restrained in range of me. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to hit him more. Got a taste for blood now. Never let sentimentality get in the way of me, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's not a good roll. That's Cooking gear. Yeah. So that's a natural one. Uh, uh, so that's a miss. And I will try and do my bonus action. Um, uh, what you call it? Two weapons. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit better. That's 20 to hit. Oh, yeah. That's four damage. Okay. Uh, I'll say that is... that. I'll say that is the one that's been dragged towards... Oh, so it's dragged past. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's, it's sort of dragged past and he's just stabbed him. Can he get out? Can he... Is, he, is there any way he can get out of these bindings, Tommy? That's gone. As soon as he's like been pulled closer, he's he, that's the end of that effect. Okay. Okay, so he's just been stabbed. He's on difficult terrain still, isn't he? Yeah, still difficult um, terrain. I think if I yanked him, he's not going to be um, restrained anymore. No. He will have a, a swipe at Itril, I think, uh, in a sort of, a, 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 almost like a panic sort of swipe. And he got a one for his panic swipe, so that's appropriate. <laughs> it almost wasn't, he wasn't even looking. It was just a sort of... <laughs> Ula. Uh, the one running for the door is yeah. going to get another slam of the column of water. Okay, that, I think that's the one that um, uh, Dom's holding. Yeah, I've, I've got him grappled. Oh, was there was there a second one running for the door as well? Mm, no, you've got well, there's one cowering, uh, being threatened by flame. Cool. The one that you pulled towards you, uh, the mm -hmm. Idril hit, and he tried to hit back. And the one that Solomon has is relatively unscathed. 
but, but yeah, uh, but has he, been has. He, he has been has. Uh, he, he has been Cool. In uh, that case, covered. I will... Yeah, I'm going to slam the water column into the one that Idril just got. Right. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Yes. Slam. Uh, that's going to be four cold damage. Um, and his movement speed is reduced by 10. Uh, his his movement uh, speed is reduced to nothing because he falls to the floor dead. Oh, no, I didn't want to kill him. Oh, well, unconscious, just, though. Like, He's unconscious. Can I, can I yes. just drench him and he, yes. like, passes yes, out yes, from the cold? Yes, you can, you can knock him out. Yes, that's fine. Cool. Uh, and with my action, I will uh, attempt to do the same to the one that's cowering, but uh, I'll do something similar. I'll attempt to incapacitate him, too, with my thorn whip seaweed thing. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. Yeah. Yes, just. Cool. Uh, he's going to take one point of piercing damage. Uh, I can pull the creature up to 10 feet closer to me, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to okay. pull him in. Yeah, he's not resisting because he's just terrifying. My uh, slight, sleight of hand for that spell casting was a nine. So I think everyone's noticed now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, uh, with that, as there's only two left, you've collared one and, well, effectively the other one's on death's door, but he's terrified. We'll say that's the end as you will. You stand uh, surrounded by unconscious and dead foes. Okay, uh, well, this isn't good. You just hear from the other side of the room a, a clapping from the stage. Who's, who's clapping? Uh, you know who this is, Solomon. It's your boss. It's Mr. Clack. I'll just kind of lift the guy off the ground and just be like, and he sort of I got one for us to talk to, sir. He jumps down from the stage and um, sort of starts working, walking towards you. And says, well, gosh, that was exciting, wasn't it? Um, I, in a panic, drop all of my magic and yeah. the floor is just wet. Yeah. Um, he, he sort of looks at the floor and goes, oh, uh, player, could you go and get uh, some sort of some, some mops or something? And, uh, uh, I guess, uh, wow, you were, uh, that, that was quite tasty, wasn't it? Very, very, uh, you sorted saw, saw out those uh, miscreants. Now, you don't need to worry about the bodies, we'll sort that out. Why don't you all have a sit down? Chill out for a minute. I'll... And he calls over to uh, the, the barman and says, uh, get them all drinks on the house, whatever you want. You just uh, you just chill out and uh, take stock of the situation. We can have a little chat. Is Jarek still in the club? Well, uh, Jarek has gone. <laughs> but, but yeah, he, he you don't know how long he stayed, but um, he sort of disappeared. Drosko looks shell-shocked at everything that's just happened. And then and says, why Victrus? And then spots Avery. Yeah. And if it would work, goes over to him, touches him, and says, don't, don't die. And casts Spare the Dying okay. on him. So okay. he doesn't die. Yeah. All the others were just knocked out, or did Idril stab one of them? I, um, I definitely murdered someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll walk over to the other one as well and go, don't die. Okay. And touch them. Yeah, so that they're still unconscious, but they're stabilised. Um, Solomon will have taken a seat at the bar, just kind of nodded so like his to basically say for his usual, and will be kind of just mumbling to himself. And it, like I say, it will be, a, it'll be prayers to the uh, crow father. Yeah. I sidle up next to the giant lion man. <laughs> Dom, just as you do that, you just feel a, a, a gentle pat on your shoulder. But there's no, you look around, there's nobody there. But He kind of just turns for a moment and then just kind of head back down. What an interesting group of people you are. I know we're getting free drinks, but also you owe me a drink. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then I'll kind of just mm. you know, say one and point at you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes you just uh, need to grab what's to hand. No, no, I, I appreciate the instinct. It meant that that 
poor small man with the fire head didn't get kidnapped, it seemed. Yeah, puts out his hand. Solomon, nice to meet you. Ula, same. <laughs> Josko is going to be seeing if he can use prestidigitation to clean up any of the water. He's not talking to anyone yet. Um, in that case, it will we'll stand by the bar by these other two. And smile, a very friendly smile. Right? My name's Israel. How are you two? You oh, had an entire sword. sword. You had an entire sword. I don't know what you're talking about. I I just have a slightly gammy leg, you see, and this walking stick helps me with that. Yeah, we all saw it, but it's it, it's fine. Well, it's okay. not fine. I'm going to have to have a word with my friend outside, but it's fine for now. Your friend outside? Is that a euphemism for the practicing you did? I'm sorry. Oh, I meant the uh, I meant the big ogre fella. Uh, oh, so at at this see. point, Big Baz comes charging in uh, to all, you know, fists up, sort of. <laughs> like, bit late, me. buddy. Bit late. Uh, <sighs> and then sort of goes he goes, <laughs> goes back outside again. What a <sighs> charming gentleman. At, at this point, uh, Arthur sort of gets a chair from a nearby table, turns it round. Sits down, uh, crosses his legs, and says, Hmm, why don't we all have a little chat? And and that is where we will end it for today. <laughs> we are team now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mm. That was good. We, we were scarily efficient. Yeah. I know. The only way is down. <laughs> I was going to say, it can only get worse.